What? I can explain that clip. Yeah, I was going to say, what the hell is going on there? All right, my life has gotten even gayer since I saw you last. Me too. <laughs> Isn't it great being gayer? Yeah. Uh, all right, so what it was is I um, performed on an airplane. Yeah, because I'm pretty famous. Uh -huh. <laughs> on the phone, like the P it was called the Pink Flight, and it was between San Francisco and Sydney. Australia? Yes. And I went there for gay Mardi Gras, and so I had to do stand-up on an airplane. And after a while, they had um, a shirtless contest, and I just thought I should enter. <laughs> and, yeah. And I, I was robbed. I lost, and I felt I was robbed. And I felt I was penalized for having boobs. Because I was the only girl, and it was a bunch of hot gay guys. So, so my life on the D-list, I'm telling you, is action-packed this year. Don't act like you ever had to perform on a plane. I'm just going to ask you where I get a ticket to get, because I, I'm interested in going to Australia. I hear they have interesting wildlife. Oh, it's nuts. All right, I have to ask you about your weekend. I'm oh, so, you mean in Washington? I'm so impressed with this. Okay, now, first of all, you did an awesome job. Thank I Thank you very much. Thank you. Right. Now, it really, I mean, that's a tough gig. A very that's, tough gig, yeah. I mean, seriously, that's got to be, like, the toughest gig in stand-up. It's really yeah, it's hard. Because you're tough making bunch. fun of the person who's next to you. Mm-hmm. And, you know, for me, maybe it's like Britney Spears. For you, it's George W. Bush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, when he's that close, like, did he, like, grab your ass or anything? Like, what? Do you know, do you know I'll tell you a story? This is true. He's gay? <laughs> I knew it! I don't know, so but... So you're confirming that you no, think the No, I'm not confirming gay. anything. Knock it off. Interesting. No. I... I think he is, too. He's no, like a bear, like an old-school, like, bear daddy type of a gay guy. <laughs> categories. Go ahead, Craig. No, yours is more interesting than what I was going to tell you. No, Jay Leno called me up uh, yeah. last week, and he had done the White House Correspondence there, and he said, you're going to love it. It's great. It's absolutely great. <laughs> he said, before I spoke, well, the president, George, Bush, George W. Bush, before I went up, he grabbed my ass. The and he president asked, grabbed he, Leno's Leno's <laughs> and, you know, just as a, a kind of funny, kind of guy way. And because he's super gay. Yeah, he's, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. I don't think that's true. All right, so I... Not that that would be bad in any way. No, no, no. I was going to be a riot. Yeah. All right, now, um, I have to ask you about some of the people that were in attendance. You don't have to ask me. It's my show. You I, can ask I'm me if you want. I'm begging you. I am begging all you. All right, all right. All right, so the White House Correspondents' Dinner, right? Yes. I'm thinking all the, you know, Time, Newsweek. Yeah. Ashley Simpson? Yeah. What the hell was she doing there? She was, she was, you know, it was balance for the Jonas Brothers. Yeah, what were they doing there? I don't know. I didn't even know where they were. Did they I write such for a, a school fool. paper? What? I don't know. It was kind of like, hee hee dee 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 dee. I, they're adorable, of course, and the kids enjoy them. But I am. So you're saying they're gay? <laughs> All right, so Ashley Simpson. Do you have an agenda here in some way? <laughs> Pete Wentz were there. I thought that was so odd. All right, and then um, Pam Anderson at the White House Correspondents' Dinner? Yeah, and that was to balance out uh, Rove. <laughs> I have no, no idea why. I, I, they, don't, they don't check the invite thing with me, but i tell you what they did say, because I talked to the new, uh, the incoming head of the White House Correspondents Association, yeah. and every year, year they have a different comedian, right? And I, I said, who are you going to get next year? And they, she said, I'm looking for a woman to do it, she said. And I thought of you. I thought you'd be. Um, I'm thinking the whole gay chunk I just did maybe did not help me get that. Well, I was trying. I was trying to tell you about that Oops. while you were doing your, you know. That's why I always get fired, isn't you it? You don't get fired. Anyway, you're not on the D list anymore. You oh, shouldn't really stop. call the show that anymore. I don't well, think. Well, I. I I hope you like it this season because I'm not kidding. We do I everything. Do like oh, in fact, I was in D.C. recently. One episode we did that I'm really proud of is I went and um, spent some time at Walter Reed Army Hospital. Oh, in I've DC. been there. Yes, yes. yes that's which tricky. I know it's a tr tricky it's place. Tricky, yeah. And I did a show and stuff. And I think it's going to be great for people to see number one the human side. Right. But what I loved, and I'm the sure human you found side of who you. Well, well no. What, what I mean is, no, you'll never see that. What I mean is. <laughs> As you know, what we read about these war casualties in the paper and their numbers and their statistics, and when you get to really meet these men and women, you know, obviously, they're, they're run the spectrum. And what I found, and I thought was so great, is, I, you know, I did a show for the amputees and the wives, and they've been through so much. I found that they have 
the sickest sense of humor. Yes, they do. Ever. I have noticed that. Yeah, they're very, awesome. very dark. Yeah. They were bragging about taking their fake legs off and drinking beer out of them. Yeah. It was. <laughs> made me proud to be an American. Proud to be an American. So. They didn't do that when I was there. I just, you know, I just had conversations with people who were. Oh, they were drinking out of their legs. They were drinking it beer was, out of their yes, legs? It was awesome. Yeah. You know, they must get really disappointed when I turn up and say, "How uh, you know how are you feeling?" And you turn up and go, "Let's drink beer out of your leg." Oh, yeah. You know, sometimes I use the off-color language, and they had not one, not two, not three, but four chaplains showed up at the show. Three of them walked out. Yeah, yeah. And um, one of them stayed. And here is here is this was my secret weapon. Okay, so I go over there and I visit. And visiting the day, as you know, it's it's everything from moving to funny and everything in between. Yeah, sure. it's, and it's, then I do the show. And I mean, I bite it at the show. I mean, it was like crickets. You know, I mean, it was kind of a disaster. Yeah, but, I, I'm familiar with the situation. No, 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 you, no, you killed. I mean, I didn't. Okay, but I had a genius idea, which is I brought my Emmy. And after I do horrible the show, I go. Um, I know this is weird, you guys, but I brought my Emmy, so if you guys want to take a picture with an Emmy, you can line up. They all line up. They all want a picture with the Emmy. So I killed at the Emmy signing. <laughs> Even the chaplain came. Even the chaplain was there with the Emmy like this. It was great. That's, that's something I'll do if I ever win an Emmy. <laughs> This is not for an Emmy. This is your no. stand-up show. Right, it so says, for your consideration. That's what people send out. Well, hear, hear me out. Okay, so I have Well, wait a minute. Theme. I want to talk to you about the thing on the back here. Is this you on the back? Yeah, that's me. Well, I'm airbrushed beyond recognition, right, but okay. it's sort of me. I don't really do pictures anymore. I do sort of more paintings. But anyway, um, <laughs> I thought it'd be funny to share on my life on the day list if I would put out a CD just to try to get nominated for a Grammy. So, a Grammy? Which I never, like, I never will. But it's called... Sure you your, will. Now, wait, what, what, me? I'm going to vote for you. I'm a member of the Grams. You, what? I don't even know what it is. You know, the Grammys, the yes. Grams. No, I'm, I'm voting That's for the... wait. <laughs> um, I, I'm voting for the Jonas for the, Brothers anyway. No, but I... I, um, I want to be in that ca that category where I can be up against like Bill Clinton and Maya Angelou. You know how there's that weird category at the Grammys every year? So I was going to call the CD Maya Angelou Live. Because um, then I would for sure be nominated, but it's called, it comes out June 17th, and I just, I just want a Grammy nomination so I can just get a pretty dress and go to the Grammys. I'm pretty sure they let you go anyway. I don't, oh, oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to go, Kathy. It's always Thank a pleasure. You. The adorable Kathy Graham and everybody. What's that show on Bravo? We'll be right back. All right, my first guest tonight is uh, is uh, performing on November the 14th at the Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas and in Dece on December the, between the 9th and the 12th at the Kodak Theatre. Uh, it's right here in L.A., isn't it? It's a, it's a big, giant one. She's very successful now. God bless her. Kathy Griffin, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you, Kathy. That's uh my two Emmys. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, yeah they're very, uh, very nice, very nice you Emmys. Think, no, I can tell you think it's tacky that I brought. No, them. it's no. I just wish I had one. I don't have any Emmys. Well, when you get them, you have to take. I take them to the In and Out Burger. I take them. They're always on display. They're, they tour like um. The body, you know that weird tour. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. That's how I am. Do you like, have you seen that show, The Body? No, I'd rather watch my Emmys. Okay. <laughs> can I pick it up? I've never. You can do whatever, whatever you want. With well, actually, that. I gave one to Mariska Hargitay once. Why? You should have kept it. No, no, they, they would have known because I'm not in that detective show. Oh, that she's shoot. In. She was very nice. She said thank you and then made a speech and didn't even mention me. That is so rude. Is I that promise right? to mention you if I win again next year. Yo, I'm sure you will. You win every year now, don't you? You're like that. This is great. Now, you know, like, isn't it good? I know. Yeah. And no, you I... can impale people. Yeah, it's actually which I know the your feeling people, of... your people has a yeah. history of impaling. Ooh, that's what we do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Can I put them over here? Whatever you want. Where I, I want to put them wherever I will annoy the director most of all. Yeah, where they're in the most they're in the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah there yeah. you go. I'll put them about I move them around my house quite a bit. 
Yeah, do you really? Oh, yeah. Why? Now, um, because I need every single person to know that I have them. I used to have them in the living room, mm -hmm. and then I was like, screw that. So now I put them right when you open the door. You could almost... I need everyone to know. Well, I, I think pretty much everyone knows you've got a couple of Emmys, Kathy. Well, the, you look, I mean, look, I, don't get me wrong. I'm an artist. I know. But really, the factor is huge with these babies. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> They'll beep the, you know they'll beep that, that letter. that letter. They'll beep the I'm letter. I'm so good, I'm so proud of myself. No, no, you might as well have just said because they'll beep oh. it. You know, I'll tell you, get ready for Bernstein. Oh, Bernstein. Oh, he swear, said, no, swear, yes, swear. yes, he's a real cusser. Now, I, um, since it's, <laughs> since it's lesbian night. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, If you don't like lesbians, go and join Al Qaeda. That's Thank what I you. say. Exactly. Yeah. Either with yeah. Us or exactly. Yeah. So I, um, I actually would be a lot more comfortable if Sarah Palin was a lesbian. She might be. She might be. Oh, for your, your mouth to God's ears, because I'll tell you something. You know who could turn this country around in a matter of days is Susie Orman. And I, yeah, hear me out. Orman 012, because I am telling you, all you need is a financial good sturdy lesbian to turn this country around in days. And oh, wait, wait. Didn't the Democrats have something along that line and decide against light, it? Lesbian light, lesbian oh, right, light. Okay, but right, I mean, right. Susie's committed, and I'm telling you, there's nothing she doesn't know. So I say McCain, Orman, and then I would vote for them. But as it is now, no, I'm oh, going with Obama. Are you, are you, Ari, is of that where you're going? Of course I'm yeah. going with I the know, Obama. I thought you would, of course yeah. I am. Yeah. Even my mom is going to vote for Obama, and she watches the O'Reilly factor. <laughs> How does, she, how does she equate those two it's, things? Look, she's a, a crazy old drunk. I don't know what to tell you. Uh. All I know is she, she votes according to... Well, all right, look, I'm going to be honest. Because I'm so nervous that she might at the last second freak out and vote for McCain. On, you know, election day, I'm going to do something. I don't know if this is considered voter fraud or if this is like acorn. But I am going to have to drive my mother to the polling place. Mm -hmm. And it might involve giving my mother an extra box of wine that day. And... <laughs> She loves her box of wine. I understand. She really, she yeah, yeah, no. She's not so into the glass in the bottle. She well, well, really why? Likes... If you have the box, you have everything you need. That's right. right. There, she yeah. likes to put it on a ledge and then tip it to make sure that yeah. even the plastic bag is drained. And so, um, <laughs> so that's how much I love my country. Is I'm willing to get my 88 year old mother drunk just to vote the right way. Well, no, you're good. You're good with I'm the older patriot. folks. You're good with the older folks. I yeah. saw you with Rickles at the Emmys. You were oh, my adorable gosh. with him. Wasn't, wasn't that great? Time, he was fantastic. Oh. Fantastic. I, he's just, he's, it was so lovely. So lovely and so sweet and so funny. And it, I mean, his sense of humor is just ghetto. He will say anything oh, I know. to anybody. I know. And just, he just has that Rickles license to kill. And no, so. Now, how does he get that? How do you get that he's license? He's fearless. He is fearless. And you know, the guy's performed for four presidents. Right. And he really has the street cred as well as the respect. But I mean, the stuff he just says to people's faces is really, it's, it's, it is an awesome sight. Yeah, so presenting with him was, was truly a delight. And you know, the producers are so funny because they were like, um, now Don, you know, we need you to stay on script. And they would turn to me and they'd go, sweetheart, you'll keep him on script, right? And I'd be like, yeah, I'll keep Don Rickles yeah, on script. Right. So of course, you know, when he's off the cuff, he's nothing is funnier than, than that. So it was, it was like a real seminal moment for me. It was a real pleasure. Yeah, it was lovely to see you both up there. I like that. I, did you enjoy yourself at that Emmys? The, the, the oh my show? gosh, what a dish fest. Oh. All right, so. It was, it was bored. I was so bored. Oh, you're so jaded. I am. You are so, you're worse than a jaded old lesbian. I am. Time. Hey, you look really? at me. Look at me. Just picture in your mind. Look at this. Go look at that a little bit with your eyes. Liza Minnelli. <gasps> See? Showbiz. Exactly. Showbiz. No, I am a little. I, well, I'm not, I wasn't jaded when I turned up, but I was jaded when I left. It went on forever. Oh, that was a disaster with those multiple hosts. Yes. No, that was a bad yes. call. But it's true. Like, when you see somebody like Rickles, I was thinking, oh, they should have just let Don host the whole thing. Yeah, or Jimmy Kimmel was there. Jimmy or was so around. funny. Yeah. I love when Jimmy goes, don't you love the hosts tonight? They're so sufficient. <laughs> <laughs> also, any time, any chance I can um, make fun of Ryan Seacrest is a good day for me. Right, that's so true. Yeah, I, yeah. It's an appropriate... It's appropriate. It's, it's appropriate. It's appropriate. But you should mention him on Lesbian Night also. I know, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because, that's good. Well, I shouldn't make fun of Ryan. She's a really good hostess. Right, that's and, true. Uh,
you know, she's on the number one show. God she love is. her. Good for her. Now listen, uh, you're doing the, you're doing the stand up in Vegas. Yes, I, I just came back. Yeah, you do. You do a tough gig, right? Where you do the show and then you fly to Vegas and do a show. No, no, no. no. I just did it at the weekend. But still, that's tough to do yeah. live shows. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It's goodness. very, it's very difficult. Yeah. I know. I, I love it. I love all things Vegas. I'm a, really? I'm a crazed nickel slot player. I'm like that. Like, don't if you see me in Vegas, don't bother me. I got the bloodshot eyes. I got the diet soda that's like half water at five in the morning. Bet and max on those nickels. Bet and max every time. Oh yeah, I'm serious. Really? You do? Yeah. You like Sometimes I'll bet like twenty cents a pop. I don't even care. Bet and max. You're nuts. Yeah, I'm You're crazy. Nuts. I'm a hey, party you know where you, you know person. where you want to go at the Mandalay Bay? Where? They have a, the wave pool there. Yeah. It's awesome. The, you, you, it's better than the ocean it's or It's better nature. than the ocean. Yeah. Better and, frankly, cleaner. Cleaner yeah. than any ocean you're ever yeah, going to yeah, find. Yeah, I mean, you know, oceans are all right, but there's no, still when you go people to Vegas, trying just... to save them and everything. No, you know? that's so time-consuming. I know, I know. I know. Now, when you go, you can't walk among the people. You're too famous. What do you oh, do yeah, in you Vegas? you kidding me? Nobody gives a rat's ass oh, about me. Oh, please. Like... I don't even believe what? you. What is the most common thing people say to you when they see you in public? Oh, cheeky monkey. <laughs> Is that, wait, is that, because you're a very sexy guy, is that code for here's my key? Because that sounds like a code. I really hope not. Because <laughs> sometimes people approach you and if that's code, I'm like, oh, oh no. I mean, not from a lesbian, that's a pointless, you well, know, that's a waste don't, of. You know, I have, I've got to They like you, you, but they don't they like don't you like that They don't like me that way. much. Not that yeah, way, no, not that way, no. They don't invite me to the room. They're too yeah. busy, they're saving the world one lesbian at a time, I am telling you. <laughs> Well, the they're up to something that doesn't include me, that's for sure. <laughs> you cheeky monkey. They are too. No, but do you, are you, are you're going to do that, and then you're doing the Kodak theater here. I know. That's it's very such a big A-list. deal. And, by the way, I, um, and this is really pathetic, but you know, um, I, first of all, I won two Emmys. I don't know if I mentioned that, but um, in addition to that, I'm also, this is so pathetic, I'm trying to get nominated for a Grammy, oh, and so right. uh, they, they started the voting. Yeah, I have a oh, CD. Is that a, oh, yeah, there's your CD. For, and, and once again, I put it out because I'm an artist. Yeah. But also because I want to um, go to the Grammys and get a dress. So, uh, are you a Grammy member? That seems like something sure, you would do. Sure, why not? Yeah, I'm um, part of the. They always come to me. Are for... you lying? Because you look like you're lying. I'm lying. Of course, I'm lying. Well, why yeah, can't yeah. you be a member of the Grammy? Because I, or... I only recently became an American. You got to build up to Grammys. <laughs> Look, we're out of time, Kathy, but well, there's a Kathy Griffin uh, for the Grammy and the Emmy and, and the Kodak and the and Vegas. Cheeky and, and, and the Cheeky thing. Monkey and all that. Kathy Griffin, everybody. <laughs>
Okay, I want you to know that I'm doing something tomorrow, December 23rd, that I hope you're proud of. And you know, because I'm sure you've been doing a lot of signings, right? Yes, yes, All I right, have done so that. All right, so I have been reading that Sarah Palin, my nemesis, has... <laughs> Why is she your nemesis? She's nemesis. my nemesis. Why she's, is she your you, nemesis? Did you fall off the wagon? Nemesis is <laughs> No, if I fell she... off the wagon, he'd be the first to know. You just trust me. <laughs> yes, yeah. She is my nemesis because I am in, in, in love with Levi Johnston, my boyfriend and secret lover. And um, when I move into the White House, because it's inevitable, then I don't know that she and I will get along, frankly. And I think she's a dumbass. Besides that. this come from? Where did this come from? I was going to ask you about the book and suddenly yeah. you're off in this wild left-wing from... diatribe. What's going on? <laughs> it's from a lack of being able to pee due to my liposuction. Oh. It all comes back to my bladder. You don't now... get body work done, do you? I th I know oh, you've oh a... no, no, I've been to the dentist. <laughs> That's really? what I call it. Yes, a lot of the ladies in Hollywood have had their dental work and maybe had their teeth cleaned. And so, yes, I've been to the dentist. I have staples in my head like I'm at Office Depot. All right, um, so tomorrow... Are there photographs of this? There's, oh, you have to see. They are such disgusting I know, I saw one earlier. Yeah, yeah. It's like CSI crime scene photos. Yeah, They're it's, so, it's really frightening. For that alone, you have to buy the book because they are disgusting. Oh, they are, no, here they are. Oh, right. no, Kathy, I don't think people should see you, these. They're not ready? No, oh, they're... Oh. Oh All right, God. well, they're horrible. They are... Look, there was a kid here the other night who vomited. I don't want her... I don't want that to happen again. Oh, yeah, you're going you're gonna to need someone to hold your hair. Do you want me to... Do you want yeah, me to show them, show them, show them. All right, all right. Okay. Look, there you are. Look, there Look. you go. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, who's yeah. sexy? Jeez. All right, so I tried to do something different in this book because you're not going to see that everybody's book. So tomorrow, since I heard that Sarah Palin is doing two cities a day on her BS signing, I have decided that tomorrow I'm going to do it not with a fancy bus, not with a private jet. I'm going to three counties in one day. Whoa. Yes, three signings in one day, and I'm going to do one in L.A., one in Orange County, one in San Diego County. Slow down. Please check my Twitter page. You can me. Check me on Twitter. Is there no bag? Please, go on my, go on my face place. Go on my MySpace. My mother calls it face place. You know that, right? So, yes. Yeah, so, three in one day. And, and I know you're... I'm getting to... No, I'm getting I know to you're dying to say the title. I, well, yeah, I do. Uh, uh, this is Kathy's new... Say it. Uh, say it. Sucking it for the holidays. <laughs> more crotch than you signed on for. Now, is this, is this a the stand-up comedy show? This is, yeah, now this is different from any of my specials. It's completely different material and you should know that Sucking It for the Holidays has not one single reference to the holidays at all. <laughs> it's just smack talking. May I stop you? May I stop you? Okay. Track one, Happy Kwanzaa. <laughs> want this to be our best Kwanzaa ever. I yeah. really do. I really do. I'm All right, reaching stop out. right there, lady. Stop <laughs> right there. Did you have a nice time on your book tour? Did you have a good time I, on it? I wanted to you ask you. Everywhere. You went everywhere. I, I love it. Now, tell me, do you have any, like, weird stories of signings or people that, you know, said something unusual to you? Because don't you find that they're different than when you go do stand-up? Yeah, a little bit, but uh, people are very nice to me. They're very, very kind of, nice. No, they're, they're very uh, gentle, and they say, we're sorry that there's not what, many you, people what are you here. gentle? Like someone's going <laughs> to... You know, the book sided people are always very like, there was a lot more here for Kathy Griffin, no, but... No, no, no. She's a little more popular than you, and you've got to build up to it, they I like say. how you say they're gentle, like they might just kick your ass. Like, <laughs> sign it! Sign it! Sign it! Or something. But yes, they're very gentle. Is it wrong that I got a little turned on when you did that? Sign it! That's awesome. No. Hang on, I'll just balance it out. Hold on. Oh, oh and then yeah. back down again. Yeah. Back down again. Now, you know, um, so please, if you're in the Southern California area, if you want to fly in, drive in, get a gay bus, come see me. Now, um, have you ever been on a gay bus? Yeah, I'm on one right now. <laughs> you really are. I'm kind 
of. You're kind of out I'm of gay friendly. Place. I'm gay friendly. You're gay, I'm gay adjacent. Yeah. And um, so the other thing that I'm doing for the holidays, besides, of course, sucking it, is <laughs> CNN has foolishly asked me to once again co host New Year's Eve Live with Anderson Cooper. Shut up. That's fantastic. Yeah. I'm going to change my New Year plan. Well, I'm changing my New Year plan so I can watch your show. All right, so I have to ask, what was your plan? I was going to go to Rio. <laughs> well, what is it? You can still watch. Wait a minute. No, go to Rio. That is so much better than anything. You're That's right. A... I'll go to Rio. Yeah, then. go to all Rio. Right, yeah, can... yeah. It's called see, TiVo. It's I'll, called I'll, TiVo. I'll see a TiVo of all your right. show. Now, yeah, all right. Now, I think you should know, though, that there is a unique situation that I'm in because last year I um, cursed a little bit on the air over yeah, there. Yeah, you CNN. said. What did you She said? Ooh -la -la. Did you say? Ooh -la -la. I said, I said, I was being heckled by someone on the street and I said to him, um, look, buddy, I don't go to your job and knock the out of your mouth. Ah, yes. <laughs> Because I'm a pretty, gen I'm a gentle and a so I'm a, like a little flower, like a pretty soft little flower. You once, twice, twice. three, three times, times, lady. <laughs> All right, so, so uh, it's now in my contract, which I believe is unprecedented in the history of CNN, right. that if I swear again this year, I have to write the check back. No. Yeah. Oh, that's so, un-American. I don't I, like I that. I agree. It's, yeah, that's it's socialist. Not right. Now, um, if I were you, I would be tuning in. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. <laughs> it'd be it'd be worth it. It'd be worth it. Yeah. Just yeah, you. I mean, what just, do I care? Yeah, about? no, you're right. How it's, much it's, CNN? How much is it going to be? Not Forty much. bucks or it's something? Not yeah, much. yeah. <laughs> To become a YouTube sensation, you yeah, can't yeah, buy you that. You can't buy that. You know That's what? Right. The hell with Anderson Cooper. He's set. What do I care about? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? It's my time. It's my me it and Christiane Amanpour. We're taking over. She's been here. She would not swear on CNN, no, and I no, watched no. that night with her. What would she be here? Yes, there's kind of nothing she doesn't know. She's a little frightening got, that way. She, yeah, but she's got this odd kind of sexuality. Oh that yeah, I, found kind of, I was kind of like, tell me more about Afghanistan. I know. <laughs> Let's start a revolution yeah, and ter kinda. take me to Tehran in your mind. Well, because... <laughs> well, she's half Iranian. Yes. She, well, and she has... You kind of see her in battle fatigues mm -hmm. and kind of boots. And then you, you know. see her out of them. Oh, ha -ha, right. yes! <laughs> and I loved your interview with Liza, which was great, where uh, she made you no, switch I, chairs. I, I switch a, chairs. Yeah, I, I came in. Would you, would you like me to do no, that? No, no, I think that we both have our good light. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, but, but <laughs> There's I, no good light on this show, guys. Okay. <laughs> I am dazzled by the Liza as well. I, I am very impressed by Liza. I'm yes. very impressed by people who survive in show business. Exactly. Dare I say, actually, you're on that kind of a track. I'm trying. Yeah, I am trying I mean, to survive. Just, you're, you're... We'll see if I don't get fired by CNN. Well, I, even if you do, I think you're bigger than CNN at this what? point. Oh, yes. I mean, look, you get the number one on the New York Times Number one. Number Times one. Yeah. Did you get on Oprah? Did you, did you get on Oprah? I can't, you did not just ask me if I got an Oprah. Well, you got number Oprah one. Oprah hates me almost as much as Gail does. Why did, why? Yes. Why would Oprah now, hate Now, you? do you know who Gail even is? Yes, of course. It's Oprah's husband. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm not allowed on Oprah. There, uh, fine. I gotta write the check back. Write the check back. Yeah, no, you'll be all right. Now, what did you love about writing your book, and do you have any regrets? Uh, what did, we're out of time, Kathy. I can't be asking <laughs> questions like that. Sorry. I got excited. I want to hear all about it. Your process. Um, Buy I his book. You know that. Buy yeah, his yeah, book. Yeah, it's yeah, fantastic. Yeah. He's got a fantastic story. He's great. You know that. everybody to the Tomorrow Night Show. <laughs> Technically it's tomorrow night because it's Tuesday, the December the 22nd, which is, if it's after midnight in your region, then it's tomorrow night. <laughs> oh my lord. Um, <laughs> My next guest has written a, a book. She's a comedian and an author. This book is a New York Times bestseller. Uh, the book is called the Official Book Club Selection. Here's a clue to who my next guest is.
Uh, I just want to read you a little bit from the book because I think it's a very moving uh, passage. <laughs> I've had liposuction and I can't pee. <laughs> she says what we're all thinking. Please welcome the adorable Kathy Griffin, everybody. This. I, you look great. Now, you know I'm all dolled up for you. Yeah, I love it. I, look, I have prostitute shoes on. Nice. Yes. Have they got clear heels? Um, no, I wish, but I will put a little guppy in there for you if you like. No, 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 I don't put any guppy. And I have no underwear, and I'm getting ready for the crotch shot at any moment. Yeah. But it's going to be naughty and a ratings grabber. <laughs> All right, then do it. <laughs> no! Hey, um, oh, I care. you know what? Before I talk about the book, which I do want to talk about, I'm and very. I love your book, by the way. And I loved yours. Yes. I... American on Purpose, of course, by Craig Ferguson. <laughs> You're not plugging machine. You even plug other people's I books. I do. You know? I do. It's in my DNA. But I want to talk to you about this lattice work across your. My rack? Yeah, it's okay. fantastic. Thank you. It's, it's Carolina it's Herrera. Very expensive. It's great. Thank you very much. And I brought the lattice work to you. Because when you started reading for my book, the very profound statement, which yeah. is, I've had liposuction and I can't pee. Yeah. Um, I thought that was one of the more moving passages in the book. Oh, I was wait like, till you get to the catheter. Oh, don't. Oh. No. Somebody check my bag. Um, yes, this book is out there. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, yeah, I'm all right. All right yeah, no, I'm, I'm just good. checking. You yeah, never yeah. know when somebody has a catheter. Yeah. Um. Um, now, okay, I want you to know that I'm doing something tomorrow, December 23rd, that I hope you're proud of. And you know, because I'm sure you've been doing a lot of signings, right? Yes, yes, all I right, have done so, that. All right, so I have been reading that Sarah Palin, my nemesis, has... <laughs> Why is she your nemesis? She's nemesis. my nemesis. Why she's is she a, your you, nemesis? Did you fall off the wagon? Nemesis this. <laughs> no, if I fell she, off the wagon, he'd be the first to know. You do trust me. Yes. Yeah. She is my nemesis because I am in, in, in love with Levi Johnston, my boyfriend and secret lover. And um, when I move into the White House, because it's inevitable, then I don't know that she and I will get along, frankly. And I think she's a dumbass. Besides that. this come from? Where did this come from? I was going to ask you about the book and suddenly yeah. you're off in this wild left-wing from... diatribe. What's going on? <laughs> it's from a lack of being able to pee due to my liposuction. Oh. It all comes back to my bladder. You don't get now, body work done, do you? I, I oh, oh no, no, I've been to the dentist. <laughs> That's really? what I call it. Yes, a lot of the ladies in Hollywood have had their dental work and maybe had their teeth cleaned. And so, yes, I've been to the dentist. I have staples in my head like I'm at Office Depot. All right, um, so tomorrow... Are there photographs of this? There's, oh, you have to see. There are such disgusting... I know, I saw one earlier. Yeah, yeah. It's like CSI crime scene photos. Yeah, They're it's, so, it's really frightening. For that alone, you have to buy the book because they are disgusting. Oh, they, no, here they are. Oh, right. no, Kathy, I don't think people should see you know, these. They're not ready? No, oh, they're... Oh, Oh All right, God. well, they're horrible. They are... Look, there was a kid here the other night who vomited. I don't want her... I don't want that to happen again. Oh, yeah, you're going you're gonna to need someone to hold your hair. Do you want me to... Do you want yeah, me to show them, show them, show them. All right, all right. Okay. Look, there you are. Look, there Look. you go. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, who's yeah. sexy? Jeez. All right, so I tried to do something different in this book, because... To see that everybody's book. So tomorrow, since I heard that Sarah Palin is doing two cities a day on her BS signing, I have decided that tomorrow I'm going to do it not with a fancy bus, not with a private jet. I'm going to three counties in one day. Whoa! Yes, three signings in one day, and I'm going to do one in LA, one in Orange County, one in San Diego County. Slow down. Please check my Twitter page. You can me. Check me on Twitter. No bag. Please go on my go on my face place. Go on my MySpace. My mother calls it face place. You know that, right? So yes. Yeah, so three in one day. And and I know you're. I'm getting to. I'm getting I know to you're dying to say the title. I, well, yeah, I do. Uh, uh, this is Kathy's new. Say it. Uh, say it. Sucking it for the holidays. <laughs> Listen, uh, New Year.
here, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, that I was watching New Year's Eve. I was watching TV. Uh, I was watching CNN. I normally, of course, I watch CBS, but my I, <laughs> the <laughs> dog ate my homework. So I, <laughs> so I was watching. I tell you, I was watching CNN because Kathy Griffin was on. Uh, she was doing the 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 CNN show with Anderson Cooper, and I love those girls. And I was watching the. <laughs> Well, Kathy had just been here, and she said she was going to do the show, and I watched it, and she was hilarious. I mean, I really was, I, she was just fantastic. And then I read on the, uh, in the newspaper today that Kathy uh, apparently got into a lot of trouble for saying a word that began with F, and it wasn't Fandango. <laughs> and then, I, did they fire her or not fire her? Well, we don't know. And I'm thinking, how can you fire her? She does one show a year for CNN. You can't fire her from that. To just hire her again in December. <laughs> so, what we did is, Kathy's in New York, but we got her on the phone. Aha! So we'll get to the bottom of this show business conundrum. Hang on, I'll just phone her. <laughs> Kathy, are you there? Please hold for Miss Griffin. Oh! Miss Griffin, there's a phone call. Hello, Craig, it's me, Kathy Griffin. Hi, Kathy Griffin, how are you? I'm very, very excited to hear that you watched Anderson and I renew our vows um, on New Year's Eve on CNN. <laughs> I thought, you, I thought you were fantastic, you were hilarious, but apparently at some point you said a cuss word. I must have fallen asleep or gone to the bathroom or something. What, what was that word? I'm sure that you were confused if you think in any way that I would ever try to curse on television. How dare you, you son of a handsome gun. <laughs> I'm really, say, I'm really watching myself now, can you tell? I'm really on my best freaking behavior. It's killing me. Why, why did, they, did they fire you? Well, I don't know if I got canned. You know, I don't feel I've really done a job well until I get fired. But um, the deal was... The de no, am I fired from this phone call or just tell me what's going on? No, no, I, did, I was wondering if you got fired from CB, uh, from what they call them, CNN. Did you get fired from them for saying, I got up on TV? <laughs> You know, it was really, I think, a miscommunication because um, we were talking a lot about the balloon boy, Falcon Heaney, and I was amused by how if you watch the worldwide coverage of that story, yeah. then you could hear his first name pronounced in many different ways. And in fact, his own mother has an accent, and there were times that it sounded almost as if she pronounced the name of her own child, Falcon, as a verb that uh, adult <laughs> film actors use when they're <laughs> Well, this, I, this seems perfectly reasonable to me. This is, I this, agree. This is news. It's um, like, you know, it's like what Shakespeare did. I am a wordsmith. <laughs> I just keep yeah, smithing yeah, with Kathy, the word Kathy, don't, <laughs> don't, don't push it, Kathy. <laughs> pushed it, I know. Yeah, uh, you went too far. I know, you I went, know. Are you all right? Are you having a nice time in New York? Are you staying warm? I'm having a riot. Okay. <laughs> Kathy, we, we've, we've got to go. Uh, let's just say you're fired, and I can't wait to see you back here very soon. I adore you, and thank you. I love you too, Kathy. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Kathy Griffin, everybody. <laughs> now, I think we can all agree that didn't clear anything up at all. <laughs> What happened is that I talked to Kathy for a minute, she swore a couple of times, but we don't know if we, she got into trouble with CNN or not. But here's my question. You see a lot of very bad stuff on CNN, and then if Kathy says a word that's funny, <laughs> I've got a feeling I'm not gonna win this argument. Am I? I have this argument every day. Every day I have this argument, and every Every day, I, I got a map lose. <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be right back. We'll be right, we'll be right. Please welcome Kathleen Mary Griffin, everybody.
look sensational. I, look I, at you. We're throwing the interview out the window. Out the window. Really? Who needs the cards? We don't it's need us. the cards. It's do you know how much I look forward to our visits? I like it too. I, I really do. I like it because I, I feel that it's the only time I see you. I well, but I watched the show, and I had Liza Minnelli on my life on the D list, and I saw her on this show. She was on the show. I in fact keep a photograph of her. And you were here, and she was there. Now you, yes. You, you know. Do you, you recognize this woman? Well, well, I can't tell them apart. Exactly. Exactly. There's a resemblance. It's true. Isn't I, it? That's only a good thing and, for, for and your gay you, demographic. You, look, your one is this. <laughs> I am often confused. With, is that Eddie? Yeah, is that's there? Eddie. Is yes, Eddie, yeah. I am yeah. confused with him in airports often. No, come on. Now it's just the only other one. You're I'm about having. to hit the road. Uh, I am, yeah. Well, I I'm going to stay to the end of the show. Do you love the road? I do. I like to. I like to go out and do the stand up. Are you doing stand up yourself? I, I'm on tour all the time. Please. Vegas? Are you doing Vegas? I'm doing the Coliseum, <gasps> like I'm freaking Cher or oh, something. Oh, that's so awesome! Are you kidding me? So that's going to be great. When are you great. doing the Coliseum? Give that. July 10th. Please come to Vegas and come see me. And it, it, by the way, it's not for kids. I have a disclaimer. No, do a not lot of bring your damn kids. <laughs> Now that's unusual. I no. always think of you as being a kid-friendly show. It's, <laughs> no. Oh my gosh! All right, I did an episode of The Dealist last week. Please tell me you saw when I had the the toddler pageant. This was so sick. Really? Do you know about this? You should be making you should be making that face because it is yeah. so yeah. creepy. Yeah. It's where like they dress up the little four-year-olds like prostitutes, oh. and um, you should know though that tonight. I've got all sorts of like spray tan on. I, I'm kind of like in my toddler pageant mode for you. <laughs> Except at my age, my category is called elegant lady. Because <laughs> I'm not quite making the five-year-old cut. But this is sort of my pageant uh, moment. That's okay, that's I've good. I've got the heels. Yeah. No, may, you... may I do my pageant walk? No, please. Okay, yeah. thank you. Uh, the way the show called... is lit, though, there's no guarantee MD will see it. But go ahead. No, uh, anyway. I know. Well, they do something called cupcake hands. Right. And this is where they do this. And then flirting with the judges. Oh, okay. This. And then for some reason they all do this move. <laughs> and I don't, I don't. Can I land that one? What's that one? You know what? You, well, you seem sassy to me. I am sassy. I'm going to give you sassy points when you start doing your toddler pageants. Really? Yes. I, did you judge a toddler pageant? I didn't just judge a toddler pageant, but I judged it with someone else who's on my show, and I'm a little bit bitter because... Not your mom. Is your mom's on the show a lot? Is it your mom? This is hard for me to talk about okay. because I finally got my own show, struggling years. My name is in the title, Yeah. and I'm the sidekick on my own show. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm talking about my mother, Maggie Griffin. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, stop. I lost him. Yeah, no, they. I lost him. Well, uh, uh, vagrants are always very she, romantic about their mothers. Now, is there free chicken for the hobos? No, tonight? no, no free. There's no. But free. I heard there was a free no, chicken for no, the hobos. No, no, let's get this straight. I always but, promise free chicken, but there is never any but free chicken. But hobos love the, free chicken. No, no, it's it's hobos a lie. Hobos live for free chicken. Yes, they. Of course they do. That's how I get them in and here. And then protein, when they're here, the doors are locked, and, and they the like chicken the is. And they like the smell. No, they smell the chicken. All right. So anyway, my mother is stealing my thunder. Um, in fact, uh, by the way, my book official book club selection has a bonus chapter. But wait, I gotta tell you, here's the here's the reason you should buy the you should buy the paperback, and here's why. Because why? the bonus chapter is where I talk smack about all the people I was too nice to in the hardcover who Hello, hello, am I in here? Uh, you're only spoken look yourself up in the index. You oh, might really? be in there, I, I don't think I'm in the book at all. I, I might have said we slept together. Um <laughs> Baby, did, that's I'm all right. To sell books. Did you say? Did you say uh, uh, anything about my enormous piece? Oh my God! I, <laughs> I made this gesture. I made this gesture. Uh, Kathy, cut Kathy, that I'm out. not. I'm not in the book at all. No, that's it goes. No, it goes. Uh, flavor, flave. <laughs> Calista okay, Flockhart. You know what that, that tells me? Well, that tells me it's time for a sex tape. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's how you get in the book, honey. Um, it's not easy. You got to do a sex tape. And well, then you've you're done the a sex tape with Flava Flav? I'd quite like to see that. I'm open to it. I'm trying to get people to buy the darn book. <laughs> no, come on. Now, this book, it was a number one New, New York, York Times yeah. bestseller. Okay, Look, but wait, it gets worse. What? My mother <laughs> has a book currently out called Tip It, and it is a salute to boxed wine. <laughs> Why do I bother? Hey, Why? Uh, Look, I, know I this, write jokes, I, know, I no, no, hit the I know, road, I, I try to do a good show, and my mother writes a freaking book about boxed wine, and everyone loves her. I, uh, 
I, I know this is a little off topic, but uh, where would I pick up this book? <laughs> I just, I just, I, I don't know, I, I, I have a copy of this book and it's sensational, well, but if you can a book about books, why? I'm sure it's sold out everywhere. Yeah, it's yeah. going to outsell, eat, pray, love. <laughs> Did you, yes. read, did you read that? Did you read those things? Like I give it. I got a Oh my, I tell you. No, I, mean, I don't need really. that aggravation. I, you know I'm too that? busy being negative. I'm far too busy. I don't think you're negative at all. I See, love I, no, negativity no. and bitterness. No. Oh. No, I think your negative is, in fact, irony. Interesting. Ah, and in fact, you're positive, extremely positive, and you spread love in the world and tolerance. By making you fun of Oprah? Yes. Yeah. And do you make yes. fun of Oprah? Oh, as much as possible, and Gail. <laughs> as much as possible. Those two dudes have been happy together for a long time. Don't, don't look like they're going to save you. You looked over there like somebody was going to save you on your own man, show. Man, you, you, you just He's got Oprah, the cup. little man. He's it's my security. For the security cup. Anyway, I know, it's all. Better. Hey, See, my ever, mom would put something else in there. Have, she would drain box the box. Wine. Yes. Hey, have you ever enjoyed a mouth organ? <laughs> have I? It's my middle name. <laughs> <laughs> we'll survive this depression. We sure will, Kathy. Say hello, potato. I love it. Say hello. Oh. <laughs> Good time. Is there anything we forgot to plug? Because we're we out got of time. the book. We got my life on the D list. We got y your mom's book. We got the tour. Go to follow me on Twitter at oh. Kathy Griffin. I, I I twatted about you today. We did. I did. And I put your what's your handle? At Craigie Ferg. At Craigie Ferg, and so we can do a crossover. Oh, nice. Yeah, hold on. Yes. So what's yours? At Kathy Griffin. Mine's at Kathy Griffin, and go on the tour on my website. Come see me live. <laughs> Please welcome the adorable national treasure that is Kathy Griffin, everyone. turn and the stop and then it's I not, want everyone to see it's, the full package it's, <laughs> it's not just up here it's down here too it's no, it, it's all over it starts yeah. there and it just keeps going yeah. and then it gets to the bottom and it comes right back up mm -hmm. yeah like that How, you look great well thank you yeah. you as well no you're very Christmassy do I look like Bing Crosby <laughs> a little bit you, do, a, you actually do a little bit the same genetic background, you know, That would be Irish. my mother's dream. Yeah, yeah, no. To somehow know a relative of Bing Crosby. Well, we're, we're, not, we're, not, we're not relatives. I, I could. Can I tell my drunken mother that you are related to Bing Crosby? Tell her anything you like if she's drunk. Yeah. Yeah, she's not going to know. She's, she, Is it's she still good. at the wine boxes? Yeah, she likes a box of wine. Mm. And for the holidays, she likes um, a box of wine. Mm. And then for the New Year, she's like, where's my box of wine? So it's consistent and it's filled with Kwanzaa cheer. Now you uh, <laughs> never forget Kwanzaa. I never I, do. You, you are uh, notoriously an alcoholic like your mother, though. No, I've never had a drink in my life, as a matter really? of fact. Yes, it's true. I find that deeply suspicious. It, you, should be, you should be suspicious. Why, are you frightened of it? Do you I'm think frightened of, of letting go any more than I already do. No. Is, I, I just don't think it would be a good idea. So you're completely abstinent in all things uh, drinky druggy? Well, drinky druggy, yes, but I have like a problem with like um, donut holes. <laughs> I, have a, I have a donut hole disorder. <laughs> what, you don't? I thought I was like the face of donut holes. Uh, the, the, the donut holes are the little pieces munchkins of... Munchkins or don't... I grew up in munchkins. They're called munchkins. I have no... You I'm not eat? a paid spokesperson I, I, for Dunkin' Donuts. I, I just enjoy munch, their process. I thought munchkin was another name for a mitchie. You can't say that anymore. You can't. You have to call them donut holes now. Do you have to call them donut holes? It's, there's a whole movement. You, oh, about, there's I a whole... Right, I'm, is have I'm a sorry, show donut holes. It. I didn't mean we to call you We apologize to munchkins. all donut holes everywhere. Especially if they're eaten by little people. No. I, I mean, that's the center of the donut, right? That's what they call yes. it? It's a, do you, it's a whole new beginning, the center of a donut. It's like, I thought I was done, and then what? A whole new, a whole new relationship. Are you sure you don't take any drugs at all? <laughs> See, that's why 
can't no, even maybe... have one sip of alcohol. Really? Well, look, I'm going to, as you know, I'm going to be, see, this is I know it's trouble. <laughs> Uh, it's, just it's, a, it's ready to bite me. No, no, no. This is just a compensation for my small penis. I don't believe that for one second. I think there's two pythons in this room. That's right, baby. And this is the that little one. That no. did not get the... I thought it was more of a shot. They're half asleep. I mean, they really hey, are. Hey, hey. You know, see that when she was I done mean, there, yeah. I'm trying she, to work I know, I'm like, I'm actually your trying to... What the hell is wrong with you, people? You're embarrassing me in front of my friend. <laughs> I'm my act... friend, my home, when my children play with their toys. <laughs> oh, so you do live here. I heard oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I heard I do, that you yeah. live here. Yeah. Um, so that is the sort of comment that I may or may not get in trouble for on New Year's Eve CNN Live Man, globally. You said... uh oh, last year. Yes, you got I did. into terrible trouble. <laughs> You can't I say did. that on TV. Well, it's fun to say. Uh oh. No, and you, you can't do it live. You can say no, it. No, not on a news channel when a, in a global broadcast. But um, this year, there's a new caveat to my contract because last year they tried. And this year they said um, if I swear, not only do I have to give the money back again, but I have to. Um, but I, they're going to actually pull me live from the air. So if I were you, what do you I'd mean be watching. They'll, they'll pull you. <laughs> They'll pull me. They'll come out and just take, like, the like, hook. I'm take just not going to be there after the commercial, yeah. <laughs> no, Kathy, no, do it. I think you should. So you're not going to see that on Ryan Seacrest, okay? Like, you know that she's going to be there from the beginning to the end of the show. <laughs> but with me, you just uh, I caught it. Know. I don't know if they caught the it. Python. I caught it. No, I was right there. I was right me. there. The me, Python. I got it. The yawning guy, he didn't get it, but no. I got it. So I'll be, of course, trying to throw Anderson Cooper off in any way I can. I'll be trying to get Anderson Cooper to swear. I'll be trying to get he him fired. I'd he, love to get him fired. That'd no, be fun. No, no. I mean, he's, he's a professional. He's water a cooler talk. No, no, he's a professional. I know, are he's you, very good. I get the feeling you and he are friends. We're very yeah. friendly, and, you know, I do. I try to do anything I can to embarrass him. And I can't. I've actually been to his mother's apartment, his mother, Gloria Vanderbilt. Yeah, I was Perhaps a ring the bell. Yeah. And um, so I went into his childhood room, and so I do have some embarrassing things I can say. Um, like, if I feel like the censor person's ready to pull me, I'm just going to look at Anderson and be like, fix it, trust me. So, I, come from, I come from a place of evil, are we clear No, on no, that? I know that, okay, I good. know that. I know that at your core, you're bad. Thank you. Yeah, no, I don't think so, actually. I think you're full of love and kindness. Oh, there goes my career. Yeah. There goes, there goes my ticket sales. No, you got into terrible trouble recently. What was it for the... Oh, Bristol Palin. Yeah, the Bristol Palin. Yeah, I called it the yeah. White Precious. No, <laughs> That's right, I forgot I about that. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's, you mustn't do that, guy. <laughs> that's wrong. Why are you acting like you don't know me now and you're yeah, just drinking well, it? It's not that, no, it's not, you know, you mustn't comment on women's weight. That's not no, right. No, that's so, so fun. Um, right. I meant wrong, I meant, no, but half the fun is knowing that I'll irritate Elizabeth Hasselbeck and then maybe the other ladies at The View and be a hot topic. So I reached my goal. I was hot topic and pinhead of the week. <laughs> Pinhead of the Week is on O'Reilly, which of course upsets my mother because she um, thinks she's dating Bill O'Reilly. It's a lot. Right, right, right. There's a lot of this going on. Um, and so anyway, yes. Yeah, so uh, and now I'm in uh, an Us Weekly celebrity feud, which I guess I don't think you've ever been in an Us Weekly celebrity feud. I'm not a celebrity. <laughs> Well, I'm excited to be in a celebrity feud. Who with? The Palins. All, any Palin will do. I'll take them all. They're all, they're all comedic fun. Like, no, for a comedian, no, they're all no. fun. No, come on, no. Yeah, I, the I'm... mom is like, quit her job. No. She's got her $10 million deal at Fox News. And... No, don't go. Uh, the Palins will... Oh, I no, know. No, you don't know. They'll shoot you from a helicopter. No, They'll shoot you. No, I thought you... she was a moose. I thought she was a moose with red hair. <laughs> you know, I know. No, come I'm on. I'm not no. safe. I'm not safe in Wasil. I know that. Is it is it is it a political thing with you? Or you it's haven't? just fun. I mean, they're just they I just love these ridiculous larger than life characters and I just think it's funny that, you know, that well, I just think the whole family is a riot. Yeah. Just trust me. All right. Hey, uh, Larry King's retired. You used to go to school. I miss Larry King. I miss him I'm telling I love, you. I love Larry. He really yeah. can talk to anybody. And mm. I'm nervous about that Piers Morgan because in the commercial he keeps saying, I'm dangerous. Like he's really? gonna, like now I'm scared of the Palins and Piers Morgan. Yeah, I know. One of them might shoot me. What do, what, what, what is he dangerous? Well, what's he gonna do? A big judge? Beat the you? crap out of you. What no, if he I... just beat you up and you what? I don't know. He's you better English. bring that. You what? Better... what? What? I said you bring bring the python. The no, other, no. the other one, buddy. The other one. No, no. Yes, gotcha. I gotcha. Oh, you woke him up. You woke him up. Yeah.
Comedy is served. Yeah. I don't know what you said there. What did you say there? Comedy, comedy is served. Oh, I thought he said comedy ensued. Yeah, no, they I think served. it's comedy is served. He's saying things like is served and settle my bitches and stuff. I don't know. What, <laughs> I don't is know he what single? You, yeah, yeah, I think he is single, but really? he's fiercely gay. Uh, perfect, perfect. Ring, ring, ring. All my bells went off. Are you on the it. you on the lookout for a man right now? Uh, well, I am single. Uh, well, that's nice. What do you look for in a man? What do you like? I like guys who are smart and sweet, and I like guys who like me. <laughs> you know, you can be a little pickier than that. No, I think I'm you're not. okay. That's it. I'm done. Like, I would take like one of the littlest chocolatiers. I would totally bang one of them. Or, um, you know, little chocolatiers. Is that like the donut holes? Yes. More than you know. All yes. Right. I would take like one of the Duggars. You know, like there's, there's like 40 of them. There's like 40 Duggars. One of them has to want to like leave the flock and be bad for, for one night. I'd take a naughty Duggar. That'd be fun. Naughty Duggar? Just mess him up. <laughs> Is that what you want? You want something more than that. No, you want some kind of like companionship. That's true. I, yeah, want, yeah. I want the whole thing. Of right. Course. You want the whole thing. The, of course. The, the sitting by the fire and judging people. Yes. Yeah. Spread negativity all yeah. over this great country. Yeah. It's not really negativity though, is it? Uh, not for me. It's funativity. <laughs> you don't stand up as well? You I am touring like crazy. Go to, you can follow my I on Twitter or you can, <laughs> you can, or go to my website. Well, you know, is at that, least I, I can thank you for one thing. Did which I get is, fired from this appearance? Yeah, yeah. You're, I, no, the center is right there. They're pulling you off the New Year show before you even turn up. It's the new me. Yeah, no, that's it. You're done here. Uh, now, listen, though. What about awkward pause or mouth organ? Um, by mouth organ. Wait, okay, hold on. Because I'm so used to living in the gutter that I assume you're talking about. Uh-oh. But are you talking about what's... Wait, wait, wait. Do you mean like an organ? Like, wait, like a... Or, I'm talking a about a, a harmonica. harmonica. Oh, man. I would say that if I saw a gentleman using that and he seemed to be adept, I would be more likely to think that he and oh, I... Oh, you'd be right. You'd be right. <laughs> Go no further. But let me just tell you this. I'm European and I can play the harmonica. Done and done. You're welcome, ladies. Mary yeah. All right. Well, sir, we don't have a band, so we have to, you know, give ourselves the musical outro. Come on, get it out. Get it in your mouth. Come on. Okay. All right. I love what a man says. Come on, get it out. Get it in your mouth. All right, there you go. Okay. Wait, I don't even Ready? know which side I'd blow on. It, every... Yes, you do. Well, no, I, I know. Yes, you do. I mean, I know where you start. Am I fired? Refired? Yeah, you're refired. Okay, good. All right. Is it this one? How much of this is going to be last? This is for the gag reel. This, none of this is for the show. It's for the Christmas gag reel. Okay. Well, hey, it's not a... Whoa, wait, wait. Oh, no, Slow I'm too down. fast. I'm too fast for you. Slow I'm from down. the wrong side of it's, the tracks. It's not a chew toy, Kathy. <laughs> Slow down. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, now. Slowly up to the organ. Slowly. <laughs> Adorable Kathy Griffin, everybody. Come on. differently about me now that I've won a Tony. Uh, you won one already? Well, I, okay, I haven't technically won one yet, and my show hasn't opened. However, right. it's what we call a fait accompli. I, um... We don't have any of that kind of French talk around here, you know. Bonjour! Bonjour! Ça va? Bonjour! Uh, oiseau. <laughs> you mean that? No, wazoo is for a bird, and I thought it would be appropriate given your feathery exactly. shoulders. Exactly, yes. Yeah. I'm not afraid to be a the naughty little bird. I think, I think you look great. You're kind of, you look comfortable yet dirty. Yes. I'm trying to be 
stay cozy and filthy at the same time. Well, you've come to the right place. That's what I do, too. I know. It's kind of what we have yeah, in common. It's like, come on in. Right. Put, put in a gag ball. Relax. Sure. Yeah. Zip, up, zip up the zipper mask yes, and then yeah, stop talking. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh -huh. Well, I'm, I'm really proud of my Broadway debut, but um, and I know you've, of course, played Carnegie. Um, but, you know, let's face it. The audience is there. I mean, I'm a little nervous. They might be a little formal. No, they're not. They're, they're drunk, most of them. Okay. So... That's good. That's yeah, good. no, they'll be fine. You, you'll love it. Yeah. Have yeah. you, have you got an Oscar? Yeah. What you got? You got the Grammy, the tour, the Tony. Grammy the... nominations, Emmys, um, and uh, no, the Oscar. I was. Uh, I get you an Oscar. What's can this? I have an Oscar? Who's out of the tour? Watch this. trainer yeah. and my yoga instructor and my drug dealer. Yeah. Oh, thank you. They're like family to me. You know, you can get a trainer, yoga instructor, and drug dealer one-stop shopping in Hollywood now. Is it that now. good? Yeah, that that's, dude looks like, that's you know, what he's he does good to for go. Me. Is he single? Because, you know what I mean. No, he's nice. He's married. That's what it's come to. Yeah. I can't get that guy. Yeah, but no, you... you Who's got a gun? <laughs> no, come on. All right, so I want to run something by you okay. as a stand-up, you know, professional. Obviously, you've played many venues. Mm. Okay, so when you go to uh, these plays, they have these playbills. Mm. And I think the actors sometimes take themselves a little bit seriously when they're talking about their achievements. May oh, I? Oh, come on May no. I? May I? Okay, so I wrote one that it's not 100% accurate. But mm -hmm. may I read you a couple of highlights? And you can tell me if you sure. think it's too far. All right, Because I know you don't hold back. No, All right, I so don't. this is where they talk about, like, where they started and summer stock. Yeah, 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 stuff. exactly. Okay, I so yeah. I wrote um, Ms. Griffin, because you want to talk about yourself in the third that, person. No, that, that does imply you're a lesbian. Well, I may be coming out. I mean, if that'll sell tickets, I will right, be happy okay, to yeah. come out. <laughs> or do a live sex show, or maybe the gold dude comes back. Hey. I mean, I'm open. Okay. I got to move tickets. Uh. All right. Um, Ms. Griffin is especially excited to be reprising the role of Kathy Griffin after spending four years as Kathy Lee Gifford in a touring company of Ms. Gifford's one woman musical jamboree, Jesus is My Homeboy. No. What? what? Well, everything was going so I well. I just thought it would shake everything things. Everything was going so Are well. Are you, you saying that that wasn't a production? <laughs> I'm saying it's that, in print. All right then. Well, if it's written down, it must be true. That's the all usual right. law. So isn't it? I don't look. I don't have any real Broadway credits. So I, I thought that I, you know, could ingratiate myself by saying that I was in a production of The Iceman Cometh, and I played the Iceman's sharp-tongued best friend. Oh, that's nice. Which you can totally see me, or maybe the hooker with the heart of gold, wisecracking secretary in the Iceman Cometh. Well, I, let's let's improvise. Uh, okay. Little Iceman Cometh. I'll be the Iceman. Okay, and I'm. And, wait, and you're the, the sharp-tongued best. Sharp best friend. Right. Okay. I, I cometh. <laughs> Men can't live with them, can't shoot them. Hey! Where's that phone? I'm good. Thank I'm you. Good, yeah. All right. Um, I also should, and I see. I don't think people really research this, but I also should brag about being in Cats, where, where, don't doubt. I played the fiercey tattletale McHairball. <laughs> Did you see Cats? I never saw Cats. Did you ever see Cats? I, I mean, I, I wanted to see it, but not really, not enough to go. I, I didn't. I'm actually afraid to admit to the Tony committee I have not seen Cats. I think that's okay. I think it's okay. I think but enough I like time... Cats in general, what? and I like to pet them, and what? I think kittens are cute. Kathy, 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 you don't have to worry about being popular on Broadway. The Tony committee is made up of about 1,500 gay men. You're already popular. I'm in. Yes, you're fine. I'm in. I could, I, I, as far as I know, I think Broadway is kind of, you know. They're ready? They'll be very friendly. All right, friendly and by the way, you. if that isn't gay enough, you know, I just did a guest spot on a little show called Glee. Oh, yeah. Perhaps you've heard of it. Yeah. That's right. What did you do on that? Did you sing? Uh, well, I can't give a spoiler, but let me just say that I'm playing what's called against type, and I'm playing a homeschooling tea party candidate. <laughs> think that she's a witch. 
if anyone recalls. Really? Yeah, that's right. Oh. Give me a little Christine O'Donnell, oh, Sharon yeah. Engel, well, action, where is she, where Michelle she Bachman. Hmm? Where does she know, Christine? Uh, Christina like Aguilera? No, no. Because I'm happy to comment no, on where no, she is. No, no, leave her alone. What happened? Come on. I'm just saying. Yeah. Did, she had she trouble. Got, she got arrested for being drunk. I think, well, she wasn't driving the car. She was only drunk. I that's mean, right. Yeah, I mean, come on. Well, be fair. that's true. Although, if she did crawl into Jerry, Jeremy Renner's bed and he doesn't know her, then I say send her to jail and send me the mugshot. Um, <laughs> hey, do you have a mugshot? Uh, not on me. Come on. <laughs> I don't think so. No, it's got I'm dying for like the Nick Nolte wiry head yeah. one. I think that would be fantastic. Well, and for me tickets. or you? Uh, either one of us. It can only help our careers. Well, no, <laughs> mine's beyond repair. But oh, you, stop. yours, um, no, uh, do you have a mugshot? No, but I'm dying what, to get arrested. What crime? What if I, what, like, what crime can I commit? Well, just say, go and get hammered and, you know, pee in the street or I something. I don't drink. <laughs> I don't drink, but I can pee in the well, street. Well, you can be going, uh, you know, have, uh, well, don't pee in the but street. But I need to pee, like, someplace more famous. Like, uh, I need to pee, right, like... Well, uh, pee in, um... Oprah's house. <laughs> I think I'm going to get an Oscar for that. And that, but you know, I'm going to film it, and I'm going to independently finance it, and it's going to be the runaway hit at Sundance. Oh. I don't, I don't say... She you... peed at my house! No! Gail's got to wipe it up. No. Oh, what a day that's going to no, be. No, no, I don't like Did that Did I mention I'm on Glee, which is family friendly? <laughs> Is it family? I've only seen one of them, uh, the, the Glees. Um, it's uh, okay, you, you keep a lid on that because the gay mafia will come after you just for saying that. <laughs> they have mobilized, they have uniforms that are fabulous, and they would like you to watch every episode of Glee. No, I think, I think the gay community, they are fine with me not watching Glee. That's true, Glee. they do as like you. As long as I'm not hating on it. Oh, no, you're not a hater. No, Goodness, right. no. No, no, I don't hate it, but, no. uh, you know, I haven't watched it. Oh, I watched one. And take I a think, sip, take a sip, calm down. All right. Because you know you're in trouble. Well, the thing is, I watched it, and I, I what I'm saying is that it, I realized that you know, I wasn't like the demographic for this show, is what I'm saying. But will you watch Kathy Griffin as the homeschooling oh, yes, party candidate? I watched candidate? you on it, yes. All right, I watched good. you on it because I adore you. I never miss your... Are you still doing that D-list show? No, I'm too big. Oh, but okay. I, um... <laughs> doing four, you'll appreciate this, four stand-up specials for Bravo in one year. Why? I don't oh, know. Uh, Something is yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Yeah. I gotta pay for my mom's wine. We yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes, and I just taped the last one and I called it Kathy Griffin 50 and not pregnant. <laughs> because there's been a lot of speculation, you know what I mean, that I could be the new teen mom. Are you? Uh, and I, if I even have one egg left, I'm gonna scramble it or fry it. Oh, I'm not see, even children. I am sorry. Got it, grab it, everybody. <laughs> TV Guide Network, uh, please welcome the lovely Kathy Griffin, everybody. <laughs> Kathy Griffin. The Lord, you're here, Kathy. Well, I carpooled with Jeff. You what? I carpooled with Jeff. You really did? Yes. I was wondering why he was so sassy tonight. <laughs> Jeff puts out. That's what you don't know. Oh, Ted I did is. Yeah. Uh, no, I do know that Jeff puts out. We I'll went to bet. Vegas last weekend. Oh, I know. It was yeah. wild. Vegas is still talking. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. So you, um, I, I come to you with a mission, oh. which is, uh, as you know, I'm covering the royal wedding. Yes. And you used to be um, a great Brit. Uh, I used to be royal, in fact. Well, I was something of a queen for a while. <laughs> long live the queen, I say. Now, long live the queen. And God so bless your majesty and all who... Her saying, Highness and yeah, yeah. the corgis. Right. Um, all right, so, so as, as I'm hosting this special, right. I need some help with the jargon. So, I mean, I know it's technically the same language, but you're, you're in with that crowd. No, you're in with that no, royal no, crowd. no, no. On the contrary, Kathy, I came to America a long time ago, and I've put all that behind me. I, uh, I'm not much of a royalist. I don't... Uh, oh, come on. First no. of all, you know that Kate Middleton has a sister named Pippi. Oh, <laughs> I'm in. Okay, thank ah. I knew it just took a Pippi? little twist. Yeah, there's a Pippi sister Middleton? Named, yes, or Longstocking. Oh, she could no, be no. descended from That's Longstocking. That's a lucky... Why doesn't he marry Pippi Middleton? 
I, I would happily. Look, I think I would be, attend that. What? Here's what I think. What? Will happen. Tell me. Right. Well, he's going to get married to Katie Wigglesworth, yeah. and then her sister, <laughs> her, her sister Pippi Middleton, yeah. will come along, and it'll be a, there'll be a love triangle, which will be solved only when Harry arrives. Absolutely, I love that hot ginger. Yeah. And um, I. We love all love a, a hot ginger, Kathy. I, think I you know am what right I'm saying. here. Yeah, I mean, that's sorry, right. Jeff, you're on. You're off today. Um, so I love a royal scandal, and I'm hoping that they will carry on the tradition, centuries old, yeah. of, you know, marrying one of their cousins or at least having no, an they, affair with a first cousin. Well, they do that all the time. I mean, Henry I VIII so. was a serial killer, and they remember. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. Those how they, are the days. Yeah, I know, but it's, it's funny because they say, oh, jolly old Henry VIII. I'm like, yeah. he killed two women. But he, and, uh, not uh, always. I mean, what? he had good days. <laughs> I feel you're being a little judgmental towards him. Well, frankly. Well, I know. I, I, I think it's because I became I became an American, and I, I don't, I don't, I mean, I... You've I, turned on Pippi at this point. No, I've not I'm turned on her. I've, I All didn't right. know there was Pippi. If I knew Pippi was involved, I'd like to... Are you, go, are you going over there to do the coverage then? Well, uh, no, I'm going to do the coverage from my living room. Um... <laughs> It's really true. It's a big budget over there, TV Guide Network. And yeah. uh, no, it's really great. So I'm going to watch the special at one in the morning. Are you guys going to watch it, anybody? Come on. <laughs> you see that dude right over there? Yeah, that great, dude guys. there. So you not, are a lying so sack of. I feed the same. You are so lying. You are not what you are. Yeah. You're all the way up the back. All these yeah. guys going, yeah, Kathy, we're going to no, watch it. No, no you're not. Watching football. No. Um, but, uh, no, so I'm going to uh, watch it, and I have many TVs in my home, so it's going to be like the Situation Room, but now I'm going to be Wolf Blitzer. Um, <laughs> is that why I'm single? Because I liken myself to Wolf Blitzer sometimes? Well, it's not a big, you know, going to rope the guys in. Jeff, you know, i got to be honest. Sorry, I was having talking to Jeff. Oh, okay. Jeff, stop it. No, you're pretty. No, stop it. Anyway, um, I, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch it all night long. <laughs> And then, and Are you then, on your own? You're just going to sit there? No, and... I have a fantastic panel. So I have um, Jack Gray, who's a humorist and a producer. And he's going to sort of have the facts and figures, and he's funny. Right. And then um, the Sklar brothers, who are twins, who had a show on ESPN called Cheap Seats, and right. they're heterosexuals. And I don't really speak... <laughs> yeah, I, I don't really speak straight. Um, yeah. I don't understand straight men. They're like Martians to me, but I'm trying. I speak gay. I'm bilingual. I speak English and gay. But... Um, <laughs> So it'll be interesting to even be in a room with two straight guys and hear their take. And then, of course, our resident Brit will be your very own Jackie Collins. Oh, I love Jackie I know Collins. You love oh, Jackie no, Collins. Oh, no, I love Jackie Collins. You ever read her books? Oh. Candace Walton with her breasts pushing against her things and the. And the things? Oh, yeah. I love the last one, which is called Poor Little Bitch Girl. Oh, I love that. See? I know. So apparently, in this new, she's got a new one out called Goddess of Vengeance. And what My happened? favorite kind of goddess. Well, that's right. I Nemesis love was the goddess of vengeance. And mm. I think uh, that apparently there's a very hot elevator scene in it. I love a hot elevator scene. No, I, I have an elevator in my house. Did you know that? Well, really? Yes. I oh, would have an elevator. That elevator. I would have an elevator in my house in a heartbeat. Oh, man. <laughs> Really? Is that what you do? Is that uh, you don't say that to straight men? You, well, actually, you could See, say I'm that. Too yeah, no. I'm too direct. That's no, no, I problem. think direct is okay. I That's all I do is direct now. I don't beat around. <laughs> I just, I come just, on, come on, go, yeah, come on. Yeah, I, come on. Thank you. Right. That was an actual accident. I know. Which is very I know. rare. Well, very it was rare. an accident. I knew it was an accident because you cause didn't I finish. Did yeah. A yeah. lot to make yeah. me okay. So anyway, yes, and I'm also doing two shows in London at the Palace on June 19th. The I'm, Palace Theater. Yes, like I'm Liza or something, and so yes, I will be at the palace in London. Are you like, going to do stand-up? Yeah, I'm going to do stand-up. You going to do a little song or something? No, I'm going to curse and offend people. Oh. Is that up or down? Mm, yeah, I think you'd be all right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to be, I, whenever I was in London, though, yeah. and, and I'm amazed at the level of public drunkenness in the center of the town. It's really? It makes Boston look like Salt Lake City. <laughs> special in Boston because you did yours at the same theater and you liked it, correct? Oh, yeah, no, it's very nice. Yeah. The Wilbur the Theater. Wilbur, yeah, 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 yeah. And right. that's a good drunk town? Uh, Not you, those yeah. days over for you, of course. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I mean, I still, I still understand why, why how it's done. You yeah. know, the uh, and also, you know, the the uh, the Irish people. Uh, I'm, well, I'm it's the liquid of our people. Yeah, exactly. I love watching drunk people. Oh my gosh, my fa one of my favorite things, like Vegas, like three in the morning, because I don't drink, but I love watching like the girls stumble down, and I love couple fights. Well, I wouldn't have to -la -la. your brother if you could get it up, like good stuff like that. <laughs> That was I overheard that one time on the strip in Vegas. It was Nicholas really Cage. Good. Didn't he get into trouble? Oh, I love his mugshot. <laughs> I haven't seen it. His eyes are completely closed. He's just like this. Like I was the, rather hoping that his mugshot would be a skull on fire. Ooh. Uh, 
That'd be good. With the yeah. Nick Nolte hair, yeah, which yeah. never gets old. No, he, um, he, what, he got arrested for being drunk and having an argument with his yes, wife. Yes, and trying to get into several cars and then taxis. <laughs> but he, he did not fool the police department, apparently. Boy, that, that, that seems weird to me, because when I was drinking, that wasn't actually illegal. No. I don't I, think, or I, else I'd just got away with it every single time. Well, maybe. Um, what would your mugshot look like? Have you ever planned yours? Can we do it? Oh. <laughs> I like it. It's naughty. Oh, uh oh. And sorry, I, I shouldn't have done it. I knew it was illegal, but I liked it. <laughs> Very George Michael in a yeah, park. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. I liked. I saw a talk show with George. Mike, George Michael was on after mm -hmm. he got busted with that sting in right. the men's room. Yeah. And he said, he said the worst is they sent in the most attractive policeman. Yeah. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? it's, it's not they fair. They set me up. These, right. these, they're very attractive, these undercover police. That's men. right. And it was a bathroom in Beverly Hills. Yeah. So what are you supposed to do? <laughs> Follow through is the cleanest way I can say it. But I love me some George Michael. Yeah, oh, I like George Michael. Uh, is no, he going to be at the wedding? I don't know if he's going to be at the wedding. What about Kanye West going to the royal wedding? No, he isn't. Yes, he is. No, he isn't. I swear to God, he is. Jeff, really? Jeff, take, talk to him. Um, okay, yeah, no. Yes, Kanye, Kanye West is but going, isn't it, so. But Taylor Swift was going to go and he stole her invitation. Isn't that what happened? <laughs> No, him. he's going. Come on, he's, he's going. going. I promise he's going. I didn't know he was in any way connected to the royal. I guess he's connected. Yeah. Mm. So he's going, and then Elton John. You know, that's a no-brainer. Oh, but that's what I'll be watching for: is who's the person with like the crazy hat in the background, or who's you know, if anyone could get drunk and fall, that would be heaven, especially Pippi. <laughs> um, so I, I'm going to be on Pippi Watch 24/7. No, I don't know. I don't know if Pippi's the one to watch. I would watch for Camilla Parker Bowles, Charles's oh. wife. That's the outside bet for me. I think she likes the gin. Oh, that'd be yeah. fantastic. Yeah. I hear that she's really like, like a pistol and that she loves comedy and she's sort of body and I hope that's true. And if uh, it is, yeah, I'd say it is. Why not? Yeah, I think so. She's got that kind of earthy, horsey type of humor. Right. I love horsey jokes. I do like a big old whoa. I know. Oh, yay, you, know where, you know where she would enjoy comedy? Where? The Wilbur. The Wilbur. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Well, we're out of time again, Kat. What? Yeah. Can we, can we, you know, I have a dream. Can we do awkward silence? I have, we have never done that. You mean awkward pause? Awkward pause, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Right. And how long is it supposed to go? Well, uh, I don't know. I don't know, but every time it had a weird I like that. Yeah, I know. no, that's good. <laughs> All right. It's Can good. we do it with my. I wanna, I'm going to make it really awkward. You ready? You, uh, right, okay. okay. If you feel you want to. I mean, I can. Are you nervous for him? Because you guys look nervous. You should be. You should be. Okay, you ready? All right. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> how nervous are you now, Kathy? I could stay here all night. Oh, that's a shame. I was rather hoping you'd move. Which direction? I don't know. <laughs> what is this, by the way? Uh, you know, the, it's the scene in Spartacus where, that was cut out of the original one with uh, Lawrence Olivier and Tony Curtis when he says, some people like oysters and tinnitus. And some, and some people like mussels. I like both. <laughs> is it mussels or shrimp? It's something like that. Who anyway. cares? That was, I can't no, believe you just quoted. Yeah. <laughs> that was the subtext. That was inappropriate. Yeah, no, you could be very inappropriate. Well, I love when you quote Spartacus. Well, I, I probably got it all wrong, but you know. I don't care. I liked it. It was awkward and yummy. Mm, I liked it too. <laughs> Let's do the most awkward of all awkward pauses. What? Smell my finger awkward pause. Okay. This is the second night in a row I've done this, actually, isn't it? I did smell my... With I did, No, I did I smell my finger awkward pause with Tina Fey last night. Oh. Our, our finger smells lovely. Of course. <laughs> She's it brilliant. like soap. Okay, give it a shot. Tobacco? Yeah. No! <laughs> Let me try again. No, I, 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 know, I know you don't smoke. I know you don't smoke. Let me try again. Let me try again. Oh, you're a bad girl. <laughs> True. True. I spanked myself. That was awkward. Yeah, I kind of like it. To. I, you have I think to. It, it, it says I'm self-reliant. I, I can be. I really can be. All right, we we definitely got to go. Do you want to throw the commercial? I always have to do. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, which camera? All right. Then. Um, you're watching Craig Ferguson or at Craigie Ferg if you want to follow him on Twitter. Wow. I'll be right back. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
My first guest tonight has got an Emmy nomination for her show, My Life on the D-List, and she's hosting Kathy Griffin's Emmy Aftermath on Monday, September the 19th on the TV Guide Network. That's a clue to who she is. <laughs> That's right, it's my friend Kathy Griffin, everybody! <laughs> welcome, Kathy, welcome. to sound sarcastic now. <laughs> it's lovely to see you, Kathy. What the hell? You got right, stuff. What's so going on? I, I am wearing, just for you, yeah. my best designer whore wear. It's, uh... Because, you know, I, I have a fantasy that you think I'm super hot. So I do. when I come on this show, I bring the heat, baby. You do? I, I bring the heat. You, are, you look sensational. I, I can't stop putting my boobs out like that because I want you to you be distracted. You shouldn't stop. You shouldn't I stop. <laughs> Out. Enjoy there yourself. Are. Yeah, no, and it's good. To, it's nice to see them. Good. They say hi. They, How no. are you? Hi, Jeff. Hi. Hi. I want to greet everybody. And they're doing a fine job. Good. I'd actually tell them to tone it down. We see you now. Now sit back and relax. All right. Sorry. No, no they're, they're, they're lovely. It's the new... You must be excited. The new Broadway season. You love Broadway, don't I you? I do. Of course I do. Being a gay man. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I love Broadway. I, I got to do a show on Broadway. That was fantastic. You did a show. What was it called again? It was called Kathy Griffin Wants a Tony. <laughs> it's a little on the news, don't I you think? I am very shallow. And as an Emmy nominee... <laughs> I stop. Stop it. I got an Emmy nomination as well. They just <laughs> give them away. No. No, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait. Oh, okay. No, no. Uh, mine was five years ago. Uh, they can never take it away. You know they always say that. It's good to be nominated, but I want to win, damn it. Oh, I want Are you win. nominated this year? Yes, I'm nominated this year. What for? For my show, My Life on the D-List. Oh. I'm glad you're up on your guests. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't pay any attention you to that. You don't have to. You're too famous. Yes. I, no, I don't like the Emmys. They, they, I don't like going to them. They make me very what? uncomfortable. Yeah. I love the pomp and circumstance. To me, it's like high school. Who's going to talk to me? Who's going to act like they don't know me? Would you talk to me if you saw me there? Yeah, if you had everything going on here, yeah. <laughs> I'd be right across the room. Will you? Will you? Will all three of you be going to the end? Yes, they're going to have a separate car and a yeah. separate driver. <laughs> really? And now, will you? Will you have the twins of Truth and Beauty out? For yeah, I'm going to bring the twins, and I'll have some sort of designer dress that I'll have to return the next day, like Cinderella. Yeah, it's a whole. It, there's a whole thing with the Emmys. There's these gifting suites where they give celebrities free stuff they don't need. Yeah, but it's always garbage in well, those things. Well, it's always under eye wrinkle cream. Yeah, yeah. So after a while, you know, I take it personally. Well, I, I, there's that, and you know, and a gift thing for a spa that you're never going to go to. No, yeah. I don't want a strange man touching me unless it's you. Ah, <laughs> uh, we, then we're like on the same time. Yeah. Listen, well, here's the thing. Yes. When you get a massage, do you ask for a female or a male therapist? A male, and I get um, full release. <laughs> it's, like, it's like deep <laughs> tissue, but I, I change where the tissue is. No, no, no. You can't ask for full... You can't oh, ask... Is it, a, for... is it like a date? Yeah. No, it's not a date, Candy. I'm a little... You know, I'm not so good with the dating. Are you I, dating now? I'm, I'm dating finally. now. Finally. I'm finally Good. Dating. I'm glad. <laughs> It's about time. I always think no, that you, you, should, you should be out there, you know. Well, you know, I'm, on, I'm a road rat. I love doing yes. stand-up. I'm on the road all the well, time. Well, you can have promiscuous sex with strange people across the country. Yes, absolutely. So I have been trying... <laughs> oh, I mean, I mean, I'm a lady. How dare you? Oh. Who's oh, also Kevin. a dirty whore. Um, well, one thing, I, you know, it's not the same for guy comics. You can do a show and let, then you could actually meet people maybe from the audience. When you're a girl, you can't really meet like a guy in the audience and go home. He'll probably kill you. So, so I've been starting and what I do is um, I'm not, you know, I'm obviously not smooth or good with dating, but I'm a really good, um, if I see someone, I'm a really good... Hi, caramba. Mm. So, I, is that okay to say that? It's not? Wait, wait. Wait, wait. You mean you're gonna beep an Emmy nominee? All right, then let's 
think of it a more appropriate. So you know what I mean. It's like if, if I were to see you, if, you know, I walk every day. I'm a big walker hiker. So if I were to see you, I wouldn't have the nerve to say, hello, would you like to date me and sleep with me <laughs> very quickly? I would say something more like, oh, well, actually, I would probably just, I make love to you. All right, go ahead. All right, you ready? Yeah. I'd be I, and then what that I would do is if, no. If I saw you, I'd come over and go, "Are you all right?" <laughs> well, I and therefore a conversation would start. That's right. right. And it brings out your nurturing side. By the I way, like can it. I tell you a trick? A yes. trick that girls can use this all the time. Okay. Ladies at home, if you're looking for a gentleman and you don't know how to start the conversation, mm -hmm. here's what you do. Okay. As you walk by the gentleman, you go like this. Achoo. Oh, and you see if he says bless you? Yeah, you go. Oh. Okay. Uh, and then, and then when they say bless you, you go, yeah. no, bless you. Boom, you're in. There you are. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Or, or you say thanks, I have the plate. Oh, bless you. Hi. <laughs> see, it works. That was a good day. Yeah, yeah. That was a really good day. Yes. Yeah, no. And so I'm doing, um, uh, I actually I'm just did my latest Bravo special, which oh, will air Oh, September are we back 20. on the plug-in again? Yeah, all right. I'm plugging oh. again. I know, because I get to be on cable for two nights in a row. And so the Bravo special was supposed to be called um, Pray the Gay Back. And this was a response. <laughs> well, you get the Marcus Bachman joke? Okay, so Marcus Bachman is one of my new favorite targets. He's right. Michelle Bachman's husband. And he seems... Okay, he's very anti-gay and LGBT rights, but it's odd because if you look at him on YouTube, it's almost as if he himself is, um, or it's as if, it's as if he- Be careful, Kathy! I've got to be careful. I would say that Marcus Bachman reminds me of a lot of the type of men who come see my live shows. <laughs> people to pray the gay away and so I was going to call the special pray the gay back um, but then they actually after seeing my material they changed the name of the special Bravo changed it to literally Kathy Griffin pants off <laughs> because I don't know about you but when I'm when I'm at home you know it's a pants off situation so oh, if yeah, you come yeah, ring yeah. the bell uh, actually pretty much when I'm at work it's a pants off you. situation <laughs> Wow, He's, uh, it's a big day well you're a Amy nominee you know uh, <laughs> Kathy, we have to take a break okay <laughs> Uh, when we come back, Kathy and her friends will still be here. I'm trying to... Oh, I don't think it's that at all. It was super hot and funny. It's not that at all. I think... Welcome back, everybody. I'm just uh, giving some dating advice to Kathy. Uh, I did literally turned to him and I go, do guys not ask me out because I'm too ballsy? And he was like, hmm. Considering it. No, I, I think a li that a little, oh, well, you have to do a little bit of the, oh, fiddle dee dee first. A little bit, you know. A little bit of the, you know, fan, you know, reveal the eyes, don't reveal the eyes, reveal the eyes, like that. And then the kind of, oh, oh yeah. Hot you. Yeah. you. Also, men are a little bit um, frightened that they're going to be rejected. Not by me ever. <laughs> is that part of my game or no? Yeah, well, I think that, that, that there is such a thing as being. Ooh, available. Yeah, you, you want to make them uh, work yes. a little bit. Yeah, uh, you know. So try... at the end of the first date, <laughs> I get it. You just tell me once, I get it. Well, uh, certainly. <laughs> wait until after the appetizer. Oh. All right. Okay. Got yeah, it. And, that, that and way I'm they the know. main course, baby. There you go. Okay, so, uh, why the, what's the after uh, the Emmy show? What's that about? Okay, the Emmy. Well, I wanted to call it Kathy Griffin's Emmy Bloodbath because that's really. Why is your name always in your show? Because otherwise, no one will find me. Okay. Um, it's all. It's a TV world. It's a DVR world, and so um, it's going to be you know a recap of the Emmys. And as a nominee, and I get to go to the parties. Some I'm invited to, and some I'm an unannounced guest. <laughs> Sometimes that'll happen, and um, and I'll give the inside scoop and just be making the fun inside of inside scoop. All... What does that mean? A bunch I mean, of celebrities. I'm going to tell you who was drunk and who was flashing their crotch and who smelled bad. All the good stuff. Because <laughs> I'm an artist. Well, but that's usually the same people over and over again. Well, really. Fingers like crossed. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Do you ever? Do you ever yourself? Do you ever yourself get a little, uh, you know, wild at these things? Do you ever get, a, or are you well, too busy observing? I'm, I'm always working. I'm always on the clock, and so. Um, what did you say? I'm clock. Always... Sorry, clock. I'm, so... I'm sorry. I, I know. I meant to say I'm always on the. Tootsie fruits. Um, <laughs> Can she say that? Not she said that. I'm 
a big farmer. We talk about Friday. it all the time. It's what I do. We get up early. You got no, 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 you got chicken no. wire. No, I'm okay, fine. Let so it go. yeah, I'll be telling you all the time. Oh, by the way, I'd sneak in another apology about that thing earlier. I apologize to you. Sorry, everywhere. that was a terrible thing. If I have offended even one Quasso. then I apologize. No, 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 no. no. What happened? No. Oh, listen, I have a yeah. bone to pick with you. And oh. Yeah. Hi. Now, I was going to follow you on Twitter, on yes. the Tweety. Right. And then I went to your, your Tweet... Uh-oh. Yeah, I went, I went to your Tweet... Yes. I went to your Tweety area. Yeah. And, and when I got there, you yeah. don't follow anyone at all. I follow no one. Well... I just think it's funny because it drives the tweeters crazy. Now, I actually do follow people under a different name, but I... It's just something funny to me about it, following nobody, and so... I'm you can do that on Twitter? You can have more than one identity? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, think about it. Oh, I'm following you, my friend. I know all about when you go on tour, you like the mom and pop places to eat, you like to talk about where you had good food in Montreal. I follow you. I know what you're going through. <laughs> Craigie Ferg. I'm all about the Craigie that's, Ferg. Yeah, that's my thing. And you're Kathy I like Griffin. It. Just I'm a Kathy, Kathy Griffin, yeah. yes. Yeah, I'm following you. Yeah. I mean, I'm also going to follow you home. Is that weird? Only if you don't sneeze. Like, just as I'm going into the house, go like this. Aren't you? Hi. Oh, I got to fan myself. That's right. Because I have the vapors and it's no. the south in the 30s. I'm not sure about No, that. no. It's the sneeze and the hot flash goes bubonic plague. <laughs> Which means... She'll want to have sex now. Because there's a plague coming. Because there's a plague Pants coming. Off. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. I agree. All right, well, we're out of time. What about awkward silence? Well, we're going to do it. It's awkward pause? Awkward pause. Okay. Awkward pause or mouth organ or touch my glittery ball. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I, I, I was just being a good actor. You told no, me to get no, my mark. No, no, no. no. I was no, no, but the, the touch my glittery bowl thing isn't really working. I, I, mean, I, I want to do awkward pause because I, I want to, I have, I have a plan too. Oh, okay. okay. Well, we've been doing some new awkward pauses. Okay. Well, where the awkward pause has a subtext. For example, it's awkward and I'm trying to sneak a look at the, an area of your body. <laughs> That's very different than what we've been doing for the last 15 minutes. <laughs> There's really no area that I won't just show you, but go ahead. <laughs> what was your idea about the awkward pause then? Do you have something? I else? was gonna, I make love to you the whole time. Oh, with your eyes? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are we started? I don't know, it's your uh, show. Uh, all right, so, wait, wait, wait. You're... You're making love, making love to me with your eyes, Honey, and I'm trying to sneak a look at your body. You are going to be sore by the time I'm done with you. Okay? Find a nickel for every time. Oh, yeah. My first guest and only guest, and well, sort of only guest, sort of. My guest, the, the someone's behind there, and they'll be coming out any minute. <laughs> My first guest uh, has got a new talk show called Kathy, which premieres this Thursday on Bravo. Please welcome the adorable, sexy, wonderful Kathy Griffin, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the show. I, I think you should know one of your staffers just said he's lost his mind. <laughs> so the word is out. You have lost your mind. Well, they, they must be new. I lost my it mind. It was the a person's while. first day. And it's yeah, someone yeah. I think dressed as a horse. I mean, what's happening over here? <laughs> it's come off the rails. Jeff, what's going on? I don't know. How's it going, babe? Hi, Jeff. <laughs> Kathy, it's lovely to see you. I feel like I, I, I've seen a lot of you that I haven't seen uh, so much. What? Uh... <laughs> Whatever are you referring to? Uh, you, you're looking well. Why, thank you. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is a special bra that has a loop here for low-cut dresses for naughty boys. 
<laughs> what do you mean low cut dresses for naughty boys? What, like that I can hang on to it or something? You, let's, you know what? Let's put something in there. No, do no, Kathy, don't. Yes. No, Kathy, Kathy, don't put yeah. my bo No. Let's put. No. I'm sorry. Oh. You know, I used to be a Just keep tidying, Cinderella. <laughs> Just keep tidying. Uh, that thing Kathy did with the flag, that's nothing to do with me, all right? You love America. I do. Are you kidding me? Forget about it. He's a citizen. He passed the test and everything. <laughs> that's true. I know. You know the state camp. You know state capitals. Um, what I love is the way you threw those papers out because on my new talk show, Kathy. I was just going to ask you about it. I was just going to ask you about it. Well, I need your advice, and here's why. The good people at Bravo want me to be structured, and they want to know what the hell I'm going to say. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do or say. So, how do you deal with CBS when they want to know what Craig is going to say at what minute? Well, they, they don't really know I'm on. <laughs> This is kind of... You mean that is, that's they, not your network executive? No, no. The, the whole thing happens, it goes like, they, uh, Dave finishes and they're like, well, that's us done for the day, everybody. Let's go to bed. And then when they go to bed, I'm like the toys in the nursery. I come out and I have fun. And then when, you know, when they come back in, I leave. I love it. I think it's a perfect example. Yeah. And also, Bravo, please, they have crazy ladies flipping tables. I'm the least of their worries. No, no, you'll be fine. What is it going to be? Is it going to be like a Jerry Springer type show? Or is it oh, going to be an I Oprah wish. type show? Wouldn't that be great? Yeah, it's, yes, it's an Oprah type show. How? You must know my profane work. It's going to be called Takeaway TV. It's TV that helps people. No, it's that. Tootsie Fruitsie. It's going to be making it's a fun. It's word. Yes, and it's probably in the dictionary. It's going to be a show that makes fun of people, places, and things. And it's going to be chatty. And here's what I'm kind of proud of. Are you going to of. wear that dress on it? Not even. I'm not even wearing the whole dress. But just the just the bra with the the finger hole in it. I'm wearing this bead. That's it. <laughs> that bead. That bead. Yeah. And some lipstick. That's it. Well, you got me. I'm in. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. There's my new yeah. demographic. My new demographic. No, I, it's going to be a chatty show with people that are what I call civilians because um, God knows that celebrities may not be able to speak freely. How dare you? Exactly. Thanks. So, well, you get the drill. Yes. So yeah. if I have, for example, yesterday I, I'm going to brag about this. I went to a very A-list event yesterday. It was at Jane Fonda's house, and Sally Field was there, and Melissa Leo from The Fighter, and Marsha Gay Harden, and Diane Lane was there. Wow. All these big actresses. And it then. Was just, just ladies? It was just ladies. It was for the Women's was, Media Center. Did you have a male stripper or something? Uh, <laughs> are you available? Because I would have done it. Like, yeah. I would, so I'd put a, a, hat, a cowboy hat on, assless chaps, and give Diane Sawyer a lap dance. I would do it. <laughs> I'd be like. Next time I'm going to call them. Again, I would do it. I'm going to call them and I'm going to book you. Okay. And uh, Diane Lane was there, who Ooh. of course is married to Josh Brolin, and her mother-in-law is Barbara Streisand, who all of us gay men love. And <laughs> so, so Diane said, "Oh, I'll come on your show." And I said, "Really? Because we might make fun of Barbara Streisand." And she said, "No, I have to go to Thanksgiving." So, so I like the idea whoa, whoa, of having whoa. kind of unknown people on the show that won't get fired and can speak their minds. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on? You're going to make fun of Barbara Streisand in this show? Well, look, as a gay man, I fear for my life. I, you know, I could be flowered by PETA. I don't know what's going to happen. The point is, I'm going to make fun of everyone and everything and whatever celebrity run-ins. Oh, get this. What? I went to a book party last week. It's just all parties with you. I never go to any parties. I host book parties. Oh, really? Even though I don't read, it takes so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, those words. Oh, pictures oh, in your head. They Picture take forever. Yeah. But I co-hosted it with um, Kevin Conner. Conley, who the straights love from Entourage. Come on, straights. I know you love Entourage. Wait, 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 wait. What's going on? They're not straight. Oh. Are they questioning? <laughs> yeah, they are now. Yeah. They're questioning why they're here, they're questioning, why they woke up today. Why didn't we get into the prices right? That's the question. <laughs> want to go to the prices right it's they're upset. Everybody that's all wants they to go. care about you know when all the rock bands come here they yeah. all they want to do is hey can we uh, spin the wheel yeah i know that's true it's the most popular thing in los angeles yeah. so i was hosting a book party for my friend lara spencer but me in the book world you know doesn't fish out of water fish 
out of water. Um, but anyway, I was there, and it was the usual suspects, Lisa Rinna, Suzanne Summers, my people. And then who walks in? Chris Jenner. <gasps> Thank you. Yeah, well, you make fun I, of them I all the time. I have called the daughters dirty whores many, many times. <laughs> You don't want to. You don't want to make that Chloe angry, in particular. You oh. would. Do we have those oh. Yeah. That was. I'm. Uh, that was not offensive. That was my impression of Chloe and Pilates. <laughs> to Chris Jenner and let me tell you there was a gay EF Hutton kind of a hush that came over the room because of course I make fun of the Kardashians because mm -hmm. so I'm doing the Lord's work and um, <laughs> as are you as are you Someone we do has what to. we can but you know she was very nice have you met her uh no she, I gotta tell you, I don't, she's go, I don't go out anywhere. I don't go at I any go of your parties. All the time. I know, but I don't go out anywhere. I don't go at your what? big parties. I see everybody here. The, you come well, out that's here. That's true. Your... They all come across. Yes, the desk. they all come across. I mean, here. they literally come across the desk. Nah. I've seen. No, I remember the Sharon Stone episode. Whoa. All right. Uh, see, people are kind of going back. Oh no, 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 no. I, you, 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 I remember you trying to break. hit on Liza we'll Minnelli. Right Kathy Griffin, who wants to promote her show and not talk about anything about me, right? No, I think he was just on the verge of saying that he hit it with Liza Minnelli. I did not. Yes, you did. Everybody in Hollywood talks about it. He hit, he tapped that ass. No. That would be absurd. Now, is, this, is that the sort of thing that Bravo is going to say, cut, cut, you can't say that? No, I think Bravo will be okay with They're it. They're going to say more sex with Liza Minnelli. Well, a Andy Cohen runs Bravo, doesn't he? Well, I'm sure he slept with Liza Minnelli. Or wants to. Well, you know what I'm saying. He's gay. But right, I mean, right, right. If I... you're a gay guy and you're going to have sex with one woman, you better pick Liza. A lot of people think I look like Liza Minnelli, you know. I wish. Do you have a little of that fussy ha-cha-cha? I don't always have ha-cha-cha-cha. <laughs> but when I do, it's Liza Minnelli. <laughs> Do you drink beer? Do you drink beer? I, wait, I've never had a drink in my whole life. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Which is odd because my mother Maggie, my 91-year-old alcoholic American treasure mother Maggie, she will actually, she's, she's actually kind of my Jeff. Um, yeah, yeah, in a way, yeah. She's not that awake. Um, <laughs> but she enjoys her box of wine. She does drink a lot, yeah. Oh, yeah. She enjoys her box of wine, and uh, she'll be there. And she did, we, we had like a test show. You know, you do like rehearsal shows nope, and test shows. Nope, nope, won't touch them. Boom, you start having sex with Liza, and it's your No, time. I will not. Listen, I, won't, I caution Liza, you against it. Yeah, I caution you against the test show. Do not do it. It's too late. I've already no, done two. No, no, don't do them. Well, what are you saying? I can't take them back. No, you got to take them back. you got to say, I, whatever I did there, I, I, I'm no, not forget doing it. that. Boom, it's out the window. Yeah, no, because you do a test show, they, get, they can come up to you and say, hey, that bit you did, and I kind of like that. It. Or I didn't kind of like, you so can't do So for the real it. show, I go, crotch shot, like that. <laughs> well, that's kind of my bit. But you find uh, your own bit, and, and you do that, yeah. Well, all right, I'll take back the test. But I will say the real factor is my mom, Maggie, because um, she did fall asleep in the makeup chair yesterday. Do your guests often fall asleep in the makeup chair? Only Regis. Just powder him. Yeah. He's a lights up performer. Ah, yeah, I'm ready to go. So, yeah, my mom will be participating because people really do love her and they love to hear Is she her. She's going to be your sidekick then? She's not really my sidekick because she, she's not awake long enough to be the sidekick, right. nor is she sober long enough. So when we have her and in between sips of wine, she does kind of give out some good gems. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, she's, she, uh, any, everything's on the table. We're out of time. I see you moved my ball. Well, I'll put it right here if you like. Yeah, uh, no, you're fine. You uh, sure? Because there's, there's almost nothing I want to put here. <laughs> And, and you wonder why we're friends. <laughs> All right, we're out of time. So what do you want? Cash prize, uh, mouth organ, or... Um... Inside your box. Oh, the, the cash prize then. <laughs> yes, cash right. prize. What time is it, John? David? It's time for the big cash prize. Cash prize. All right, two ways to win. You see how... You 
see how this audience likes it. When they get a bit of game shows, they're like, oh, this is oh, more like it. This is like a prize is right now. Yeah, now, now, but people are going to win something? Wait, yeah. Can I spin the wheel? Uh... <laughs> All right, will you say what the prize is? Yes, it's okay. $50, uh, $50 in quarters in a bag with a dollar sign on it. Two ways to win. You can either answer right. a question or guess what's in my box. Here's okay. how that works. I imagine a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. You guess what's in it, uh, you win the $50. You guess incorrectly, okay. something awful happens to you. Got it. <laughs> I want to guess what's in the box in your head. Okay. Okay. This is a pretty Tell easy question. This is a pretty easy question. It is? Oh, it's really easy. Okay, what is it? Well, I'll ask you if you want the question, but... Well, now I want to know what's in the box in your head, though. But... <laughs> what do you want more? Do you want, the, do you want the 50 bucks or do you want the, the... Oh, I absolutely want to know what's in the box in your head. All right, then. All right. Okay, now I tell you what I think is in the box in your head? No, no, wait. I've got to imagine the box first. And okay, then, well, uh, you uh, imagine uh, something. Right. Right, Jeff, you ready? Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, right. All right, Jeff, I'm imagining a box for Kathy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know a little bit about the box, Jeff? <laughs> Jeff, Jeff. It's a sort imagine. of... Jeff? Yeah. Jeff, hello. The box in my head. It's Jeff. a sort of a... Yeah, got it. <laughs> sort of a reddish, a reddish brown color. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, Jeff, what is, in the, what is in the box? Oh, wait, no, you have to guess what's in the box. Uh, I, look, I may not be Long, Edi Long Island medium, but I already know it's in the box. Oh, okay. It's a picture of me naked bent over this desk wearing nothing but tassels. <laughs> I don't know what's in the box. Well, Jeff, what is in the, the box? box? We would have also accepted assless chaps. <laughs> But it is a picture of you been over that desk wearing tassels. Oh! And she's got a, a hit single. A single. I know. It's a dance single. It's called I'll Say It. Available on iTunes. Please welcome the adorable Kathy Griffin, everybody. Kathy Griffin. Yeah, we had the place done up. Looks you all right. You had the place redone. Yeah, it's nice. You like it? Yes. I mean, the, every this show has gotten weirder. Are you aware of this? No. Yes. You are shaking your arse, is I believe how your people say it. And there's farm animals walking by. There's royalty. You're singing your theme song, which I love. Because you know that now I'm a disco tech Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Now, can you sing a little bit of the song? I'll say it. I'll say it for you. Here comes right. the play. Kathy, let's do a mashup. I can read you loud and clear. I know what we're both thinking. No, no, don't sing anymore. We have to pay you for it. Oh, <laughs> no, but I just want to say I am not a singer at all. I'm not trying just, to be. I just, you heard I why. You just heard it right there. The proof, the proof is right here. But You've got, uh, may I say, you have the breasts of a singer. I do. Yeah. Can we, let me just talk about this. Okay. I, now that I'm in the dance mix world, I've got to keep up with the kids. And so I have for you a contraption with my boobage that is a bra, I then have a giant safety pin here, and then a safety pin in the back, because, yes, I, the boobs are real, which is a mistake. I should have gotten fake ones, but like an idiot, I kept the real ones. And so, if I wasn't wearing a contraption, the boobs would be, like, down under my butt right now. <laughs> or I could play hacky sack, or... Don't, 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 or, uh, you're... Here, take one. I mean, it would be like that. Like, I can, I can be like, woo! Like no, you, no, ball. that's not... <laughs> You, you don't need all, all, all of that, do you? I do enjoy a harness situation with breasts. Yes, I do. Do you find... Do I you like find... pulleys. You know why? Because tonight when I go to bed, they are going to be underneath my back where they belong. <laughs> They're going to be laying when right you, here. When you put your harness on your breast, do you yes. have a safety word? Is there a... My safe word? Yes. Yes. Um, my safe word is ouch. <laughs> You know what that is? Okay, so I was actually... a little actually, too on the nose. I know, but, I, you know, if I'm in pain during my sexcapades, then I have to just say, ouch, and then the two guys leave. <laughs> I, um... So, yes, 
I actually was just in the Bahamas because you and I tour all the time. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like, Not together there. though. No. <laughs> that would be great. That would be. That would be great. Awesome. We could be, and Jeff could come. You could sing your song, and we could do a mashup with "Here Come the Players." Here come the players. I'll say it, I'll say it for Here you. Come the players. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Yeah. Here's what happened. So I decided to sing a silly song for my talk show cast. Were you in the Bahamas? Yes. But you, you just said that there. Right I'm there. practically Bahamian. I'm like a disco singing, disco mirror ball Bahamian disco queen. That's, I'm just saying that's my new persona. See when you go to the Bahamas? Like when you land there? Have yeah. you noticed that when you get out of the plane, if you listen carefully, you can hear Sean Connery in his garden? Yes. <laughs> you can hear him. You can just hear him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is his garden a euphemism? Sure. Okay. <laughs> anyway, what happened? Do you okay, so what happened was I have the silly song, and then um, the Estefans got a hold of it. So Gloria Estefan, superstar, her husband Emilio Estefan, and then their daughter Emily did dance. Emily Estefan? Emily Estefan yeah, okay, yeah. is my DJ mix master, and she's 17. And so I now have the number seventh most popular <laughs> dance hit song. <laughs> Me. Crikey. jokes, do, do, and yet somehow I have a dance hit. Do you get do you get money for this? No, of course not. No, no, you you, you just what? You, uh, I think the kids they download it and then they do bath salts and eat each other's faces. I, I don't I don't know. You know. I'm glad I'm old because I couldn't keep up with the new stuff that kids are doing now, downloading and uh, you know eating. Uh, you know. The now I, how are bath salts done? Is I, don't, I, don't you I don't think it's a real thing. I think it's. Uh, it's I, you know, you do spike a drink. Like are there bath salts in there or no? Well, yeah, just a, a, it's just kind of lavender and vanilla. Yeah. But I want to eat your face off. <laughs> yeah, because you didn't want to do that before. All right, yeah. Yeah, I did pre bath salts. Mm -hmm. I um. So what inspired you to sing your theme song? Uh, cash, really. Uh, we can't afford. <laughs> we can't afford anything. That's, that's why I do the Twitter jingles. That's why I do all the. Too. Because there's no. no there's no I don't have any there's money. There's no money in television. Anymore. I spent it all on the rhino. I bought a, I I bought a rhino. I bought stress myself. Yeah. I know. It's, it's <coughs> over. It's over for television. Yeah. It's all about the. Ooh la la. The face place. <laughs> that's perfectly acceptable slang. I. She. He, he, he's now beeping you. He's beeping you. In the music industry, I, I'm beeped already. Yeah, you're be it's something about the, the thing that you said earlier on. <laughs> no, it's uh, something to do with Twitter. You said a different name for Twitter, and uh, I did. That's yeah. so unlike me. Yeah. Um, I okay. So, are you willing to sing your song live anywhere? Like, would you go to a club and sing it? No. Why? <laughs> because I don't want to go to a club. There's people there. You know me. I, I am uh, like. I mean, I, I make pretends, but like you actually meeting people, I'd be like, oh, oh, oh no. They, wait, wait, do they not know how awkward you no, are? No, I'm very, life? no, they think that you I'm going to, oh, cheeky monkey. No, I, no, super, no, uh, you know, super awkward. No, super no, awkward. terrible, terrible. Very, like super sexy awkward, but yeah. awkward. Like don't go up to him on the street. Just Yeah, no, sweater. don't, no. And don't the, ask him to sing. The only time I'm comfortable is around genitals. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I totally have genitals. Well, there you go. They're right there. You I can know where they them. are, Kathy. You I went to school. Them. You can think about them. I, um, okay, so speaking of genitals, I actually went to. Okay. I know this isn't. <laughs> this isn't going to shock you, but I actually did an appearance at a gay club called Splash in New York to premiere the song "I'll Say It," and I got a photo with all the you know greased up dancing boys because you know I love I love me some gays. I know you do. God knows I they're know fit. They are fit. Fit and greased up and perfect, and so the manager said with no irony, "Okay, for this photo with Miss Griffin, I mean it. None of you pull out your." I got back. I swear to God, I thought that was the funniest thing, and they were all like, "Okay," which is very earnest. But listen, you you seem to go. I mean, the gays that you love are you know sex, sex, sex gays. But what about uh, home international gays? You know, uh, house hunters international type. You know, well, interior design gays. Uh, of course, I love my interior design gays. But this Friday night, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be performing in Vegas on Saturday at the Mirage. But Friday night, I'm kicking off Vegas Pride in Las Vegas with Margaret Cho and Joan Rivers. Oh, that's how gay. Yeah. That's super gay. No. We're just going to all go and like start the parade and say hi, but that's about as gay as it gets. Myself, Joan Rivers, and Margaret Cho. No, no, I, I no, no, trust me. That's it, pretty gay. No, no, they get scared. But it's the, uh, <laughs> but. <laughs> 
I've never met Joan Rivers. I uh, what? I, no, I've never met her. I'm appalled. Yeah, I I'll tell you what. Here's why you would love her. Right. Because I actually brought you something. She actually took me with her. This is you're gonna think this is Photoshop, but it's real. Joan Rivers and I went she, to a bag. She <laughs> she does not have a dance mix, but right. she actually took me to Buckingham Palace. Wow. And I want to show you wow, this photo. Wow, check that out. Look at that. Wow, that's great. Look, there's you and Joan Rivers without her no, makeup no, on. No. There I am. Am I right? With <laughs> Prince Charles. I, I I don't know if it'll earn a place on the Yeah, show. yeah, sure, I'll put it up there. Yeah, I'll put it up next to the rhino. Yeah. Yeah, all right. There you go. Can I just see what? Can I just see what else you have going on here? Yeah, you got uh, right. Betty White, uh, Tom, God rest him, Justin Bieber. Someone dropped it. Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney. <laughs> Sid the Rabbit. Uh, you, Joan Rivers, and some other stuff. Uh, her <laughs> that Majesty is the future King of England and myself. He'll never be the king. What about Justin? <laughs> he, they're not gonna let him be the king. So they, you're they saying the, the younger queen one. Is, the queen is never gonna die. No, I don't think so, actually. I think that they've developed some kind of special thing. She was she jumped out of a helicopter at the Olympics. <laughs> a helicopter, Kathy. I love her. She is so badass. She I'm is. Totally she's like, pro come on, let's do it for Bring Britain. It. She's pro the Oh, my God, you know she read Fifty Shades. Yeah, yeah. I guarantee you she's reading Fifty Shades right now. Do you know that yeah. there was a photograph of her last week. She was wearing a hoodie. Driving a four-wheel drive car. Where she's gangsta. Yeah, Deal she, with it. She's going to like, I'm the queen, bitches. <laughs> yeah. Are you saying she's going to have a dance mix? Yeah, why not? Yeah. I, why not? Yeah. We all do. Um, wait, wait, I want to ask you about something. Well, okay, well, so I... I, I yeah. what are, you, are you going to hit me? Because you look like you're going to hit me. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> it's your no, show. You can. No, but it, no, it, might, it probably would Lord, hurt. No. Um, okay, so um, you and I actually are doing this, a similar gig. So you did it last year. I have to ask you about this. What's that? So like I said, I tour all the time, go to large venues, small venues, wherever they'll pay me for my inappropriate jokes. Right. Um, okay, so I'm going to do something called Pow Wow. Oh, uh, at in the Florida? Florida State U. Yeah, yeah, I did that I, last year. Yeah. I want Bravo to hire their marketing team. I have never been tweeted so much. Oh, I've never seen so time. many posters. So what am I walking into? So it's Florida State University. Don't worry about it. It's a very simple thing. You walk on the stage, there's thousands and thousands of kids. All you have to do is say, Crack it. The Gators, they'll love you forever. <laughs> We're out of time. Um, I will try to do powwow justice. Yeah, I know you'll have a good time. Crikey. The Gators. Crikey. Yeah. It's a slang, it's a slang the word. Heck with them. The heck right. with the Gators. But, uh, Here's my genitals. So we're, we're out of time, but I got you a shiny red apple. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. My first guest tonight is a very awesome woman. Her talk show, Kathy, airs Thursday nights on Bravo. Please welcome the adorable, the lovely Kathy Griffin, everybody. Kathy, you look sensational. I'm gonna split right out of this dress for you. <laughs> it's a it's a snug fit you got going on there. It's that's a, right. Whoa. Anything could happen. This thing could rip right off. <laughs> or you could do it. <laughs> that was a landslide. Yeah, landslide. No, come on, you can't be doing that. It's look, CBS. I, I, I can be. Not only is it CBS. Um, I hope you know this. I stole your studio. What, the old studio? You like a thief in the night. <laughs> what have I been 
coming on this show? Seven years? Oh, nine, I think. Acting all nice and sweet the whole time, plotting. You know, that's not true. You have not acted nice and sweet no, the whole time. No, sometimes I've actually made you spank me. I know I've done that. Okay. Um... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, uh, you don't think... That, no, that was awesome. <laughs> I didn't feel that one was as good as the last one. We'll try one more. All right, then. I'll get some traction in. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it's almost as if I never learned my lesson. <laughs> um, so, yes, the Kathy show stole your old studio. Oh, well, okay. When did your show start? It's a terrible studio. It's Why on. You... My show is currently on. I know. I, I... I've been watching it. I've been watching it, and it's fantastic. Well, I was just saying that as a joke. Okay. All right. It's on Thursdays at 10, 10. on Bravo, but Bravo. you're going to love this. Not only are they terrified that the show is live. It's, they let you do a live show? Well, you weren't supposed to be terrified, too. I thought you were going to say, oh, Kathy, they're Kathy, ridiculous. Kathy, Kathy you, you, you were doing stamp collecting on Anderson Cooper in New Year. I got down there. I tried no, to collect no, that no, stamp. No, 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 oh. no, no, no. Stamp book. I wanted to really hold that stamp as long as I could. I love hobbies. They let you do a. They let you do a live show on. on okay, this is my nightmare. I what? thought you were going to walk me over to Bravo and say none of you need to worry. She's a professional. Now you're terrified. You're. No, I'm not. I'm not terrified for Bravo. I'm not. They're All lucky right. to have you. They're lucky to have you. But what I'm saying is, live I'm terrified for you. Okay, good. Because. Because you know I'm. I'm not afraid to say anything. I know, but, I, but sometimes you must say things and then think, perhaps it would have been better not to say that. Constantly. Con watch, I'll do one now. Oh. Uh oh. Um, that would be just an example, just for your edification. But I want you to know that I did steal your studio, and I cannot believe that you lived in those crappy dressing rooms. Oh. <laughs> I actually lived in them, and during my <coughs> during my divorce, that was my only sanctuary. <laughs> So I think you should know I have completely redone them. You've got to walk down the hall and take a look. I can't. And so um, this is how I live in your old studio. Wow, look at that. Look, yeah. Geez, you... I don't know if you always wore a mink stole. Um... <laughs> is that? You look like a spy. A... Maybe I am. That's right. I know everything about you. Look out. My that, that was a little looking. bit. I, I must say, I really like that. That was a, like a 1930s movie. Do it again. That's okay. right. I know everything That's about right. You. I know everything about you. Uh, I'm reading the newsies. Nothing get past me. These gams, if these gams could talk, you'd be six feet under. Trust me. I find, I find that quite erotic when we you do that. We could do a whole film noir, like a sex tape of film noir. I like this. No one's done that. No one's done like a black well, and white grainy sex tape. Oh, they, oh, they have. Or is green. They have. Who? I'll, I'll, I'll give you a website. <laughs> I like how you refer to your porn as a website. It's not my porn. It's just porn that it's I've seen. Is porn. I, my porn isn't on a website. It's everyone's porn. All right, now, now I need some talk show host tips. When you started, okay. did they restrict you in any way? Did they say lose the accent? I mean, what? They did. They said lose the accent. No, they did yeah, they really? Yeah, yeah, they did. And they also said uh, dye your hair. <laughs> To what? Well, from this to a uh, color that young people aren't afraid of. <laughs> and please tell me you did. I did, actually. If you look at old tapes of the first, uh, like, first six months, I dyed my hair. Until they realized that I look more creepy with dyed hair. Did you have, like, old school Ryan Seacrest blonde tips? No, no, no. It was I don't mean to make fun of her, by the way. Um, <laughs> I think it's great that... Right now, don't, you see. Now, I, yeah. I, gotta, I have a problem. I have a problem with yeah. going after Ryan Seacrest because I... Since Why? Because um, he's uh, scrapping met... money out of his butt every five seconds. He's so rich. No, no, no. He does do that, though, because I've met him. Uh, I met he, him is, so... he is actually really nice. I, he's lovely. That's he... my, my dirty confession is he's actually very he's nice. He's actually very nice. I know. I know. You shouldn't meet people you make fun of. I, pro I promise to never see him again. Uh, I, make him I think he'll be crushed. I think if I do see him again, he's going to be in this mink stole. I'm telling you, I just... I just have a feeling. You don't that, like the mink stole in my chalice? It's not real. It's not real far, though, is it? No, Peter. No, it is. <laughs> it's from like the costume department. Yeah, it's your a, show. It, what? Well, my that's show doesn't right, have a, It's all your Oh show. yeah, that's right. We because have a costume have a, department. <laughs> well, the, Jeff the, didn't dress himself. That's for sure. Now what, is what, Jeff gonna have to uh, dye his hair? 
He doesn't have hair, he's got uh, wires and stuff. <laughs> In fact, he doesn't even wear his head underneath that hat. It's just wires. Really? Yeah, yeah. Like Ryan Seacrest. I love... You can't resist. Yeah, I can't resist. You, you, can't you made resist. me do it. I actually he like got... Ryan Seacrest. But I met him. He's a nice. Billion, but... gajillion dollars. You have to make fun of him. Yeah, it's true. All right. So uh, other tips they said were, um, like, for example, if you have, like, a hip-hop guest, do you yeah. get very, like, street? No, no. I just remain myself. All right. So I hip hop superstar T.I. on my show. Right. And my 92 year old alcoholic mother was there. Is she drinking or sober? No, she's drinking. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, she loves a box of wine and so she kept telling T.I. Don't act so high and mighty. Yeah, Sometimes. yeah. Oh, really? Oh, 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 oh bigger who do you think you are? Oh, Don't oh, oh, You ain't oh, Don't oh, oh, You're not better than us. You're not better than us. Ooh, a box of wine. Strudel. Guys. I, I didn't. I almost did the gesture, but I'm yeah, not. No, I, now, I, so luckily I, I did the British one out of a. Well, you can say Crikey. that. <laughs> no, I don't think you can. Can you? Can't? you? No, no, you can't. I'm Irish. We say. Crikey. Oh no, you can't oh, say it in Irish. You can't even I, say it in a language that they don't know. They'll look it up and censor you. I, I am on such a short leash. Well, first of all, I have to tell you that at the end of the TI show live, my mom said it's so nice to meet Billy D. Williams. <laughs> You take this one. You're the pro. How should I have handled that? She's 92. She's hammered. He's like a thug rapper who's been to prison, and she's just called him Billy D. Williams by mistake. Whose side do you even take? That's, well, that's when you bring out the puppets. <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be right back All with right. Kelly Grumman. I just like that openly gay Jane Lynch is talking about which Academy Award nominee she wants to bang more that's a man. So she was tied between Joaquin Phoenix and Danny Day-Lewis, who now you're saying is a noisy lover? I think he would be, yeah. I mean, I... <laughs> I mean, I, I get nothing. This is the type of guy where you're just like, you don't know where he has an area of expertise. <laughs> He's one of those guys. How oh, do you I know think this? you can guess, can't you? <laughs> Do you have some dark tales about you and Danny Day-Lewis? No, no, au contraire. I would love That's that. That's French for no. I, I uh, why, why aren't you ever in the tabloids? I'm so disappointed by that. I feel like you should be in the tabloids like George Michael, like with Daniel Day-Lewis in a bathroom somewhere in Beverly Hills. Yeah. <laughs> See, the thing is, they, 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 A, they don't know who I am, and B, <laughs> all my tabloid stuff is done, and any of it that, that nobody knew about, I put it in my book and sold it anyway. Oh, good for you. When are we going to trade for the night where you're on Bravo for one night? Because I've heard you moan about your, like, oh, not many people watch this show, which is BS. <laughs> on Bravo, I have tens of viewers. So I would like you to come into my world for one night. All right. I, I, I don't know if I am allowed to give you this show, but I'll come on your show. I would love if you yeah, come yeah, I'll go, I'll Well, because on my show, it's, um, it's kind of like, it's actually very European. All the guests are out there at the same time. Oh, so, that's like a cafe. Yes. <laughs> We can put you on with like, you like Larry King, right? I like love two Larry, talk yeah, show yeah. giants. That'd and also, I like being next to him because I look like the kid. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> well, his kids are like two, which is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just <laughs> All right, uh, we're out of time. Uh, how do you throw in a commercial break on Bravo? Oh, wh what's great is um, they make me rehearse for seven hours what? before the show. I know. You got to talk to them. I'm serious. Yeah, really. So I am supposed to look at it. There's nothing in the teleprompter. No. See, they want to control me and... You so you, like, you, you have a teleprompter. Okay. They have one, but there's nothing written on it. All right. <laughs> we'll be back after the break. That was like there was something... <laughs> Girl, which uh, breaks the record for most comedy specials of all time. It premieres June the 4th on Bravo. <laughs> Kathy Griffin, everybody. <laughs> I know. 
That's right. Just snuffle it in right there. Get it all I'm, moved in. Let's just let's cut the crap, shall we, Craig? Okay. I went on the Twitter. Mm-hmm. And yesterday I said, out of all the things I can do with at Craigie Ferg, what do you want to see? And they said, we've seen him spank you in a dress. We want to see him spank you in jeans. It was the number one request really? that's of what, the poll. Really? That's what folks want? Three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> You know, I, uh, I do enjoy that. Uh, I was going to ask you if you feel dirty, but apparently you do not feel any shame. I do feel a little bit too, dirty. Catherine, yeah, 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 yeah. I know, me too. It makes it better. Mm. How are you? Uh, what do you mean, uh, I don't buy that. Well, I mean... You're yeah. in a world of magic, of illusion. Oh, do you love magic? When you go to Vegas, you go and see magic. Absolutely. I'm not afraid of magic. There's no flower. But okay. I'm just saying... <laughs> Now, I know you never miss your Oprah. Now, if there's one thing I know about you, it's that you live for own and Oprah. But if you mm -mm -mm. saw... You bet I do. Uh -huh. And you do, and you do, and, and you do. And yes. Yes. All right, so she interviewed David Copperfield. Oh. And it was quite an illusion in itself. It turns out that guy is lizoted, can buy and sell everybody in this town, and has 11 islands that he bought in the Caribbean. Really? What does he, how does he get all that money? He, From illusions? Yes, magic and illusions. Really? I'm gonna start I'm gonna I'm gonna start pulling flags out of my pants right now. I wish you could do it. Yeah. Absolutely. Or no. my secretary could try. Really? Is he, you get that? He, no, he must have investments or something. He can't just I make think it. he makes something crazy, like a hundred million bucks a year, and you could tell it really kind of pissed off Oprah. Like, yeah. Was, like, good for you, except I'm mad. Yeah. <laughs> What's the thing in your special going after Biebs for? Come on now. Let me let's just talk that up. Whoa. Family. Let's girlfriend. just talk it out, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Because Beebs needs to calm down, girl. A little bit. He's, get, he's getting a little vanilla ice uh, in everybody, isn't he? A little bit? <laughs> well, there's actually hot off the presses news today, and I say news in caps, because it's been verified by at least two blogs. And <laughs> apparently his Ferrari has been pulled over again in his gated community in Calabasas. Now, let me just say to America and the globe, if you haven't been to Calabasas, I don't know why you would go there, but a, a lot of rich people love living there in gated communities. Yeah. And the Beebs has a white Ferrari that he keeps loaning to Lil Twist. Now, I know... Is, is Lil, Lil Twist is, uh, his friend? He's thug. He's very thug. Okay. Yes, yeah, so... He's got a white Ferrari that he loaned again to Lil Twist, as if he didn't learn from the last time. Same with Za. Anyway, the point is, Biebs is, is very... That, is Za his friend, too? Very hood. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> Justin Bieber is very street, and yes. he's getting in a lot of trouble and possibly smoking pot on a Segway, which I Whoa, find... Yeah, yes, no, you heard me. No, no, no. You heard me. That's... I wish there were Segways... <laughs> And maybe waving to Keyshawn Johnson's children? Inappropriate. <laughs> Inappropriate. I wish they had segues when I was smoking pot. I'd have loved that. This is kind of moving <laughs> around. <laughs> you sort of feel like you're on one. I yeah, guess. and that's the great thing about uh, segues. You don't need to buy one to feel like you're on one. And you yeah. can move actually faster by not having one. Correct. <laughs> Would you well, get one if you like? If, I've ridden a, se a Segway. I've actually. Is that a, a dirty thing? Is that like sex code? Like I've ridden a Segway. Like, okay, so that reminds me. I've been to the rodeo. Me, that kind of thing. So another thing that someone tweeted about what they wanted us to do together. Someone actually tweeted the phrase, and I'm quoting: "Ride the pony, ride the pony, ride the pony." These are your fans. These are your. No, fans. no, these are your fans. All right. <laughs> They, also, oh, they might mean, uh, you know, ride the horse. Hi, Secretariat. What's yeah, up? Yeah, what's up? Yeah. He's, uh, he's also very... He's, he's very he's street bucking. as well. He's Very he's, he's thug, thug yeah. very hood. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. I said that. We get it. I enjoy watching the Biebs, um, whatever is happening, meltdown, call it what you will, because I do think... I named the special Calm Down Girl because G-U-R-R-L is non-gender specific. So it doesn't I didn't mean know that. necessarily to a female. Right. Calm Down Girl can be Lindsey Graham or Lindsay Lohan. It can be anybody. And I think I think the Biebs can calm down. And uh, is this all about this whole special? Is not about Justin Bieber. I mean, sure. No, we talk about Amanda Bynes. Okay. And. <laughs> 
right, so this is also hot off the press. Now, look, you know that I'm watching Amanda Bynes just like the rest of the world is. And I'm curious about her face piercings because she actually has uh, studs in her cheeks, which I, which cannot be helpful when you're having, like, tomato soup. All right, so... Are you, have you got any piercings? Do you have any piercings? I have no one? piercings. Are you sure? I seem to remember you last time check. I was having a look around, check. there was a little piercing somewhere. I will get a pelvic right now for We're, you. All right, what, what's that? A pelvic is a pap smear. It's oh. where I put... What happened? <laughs> I went too far for you? <laughs> oh, I don't know about it, really. I what? don't know. Um... No, I don't think you went too far from me. You just shocked me a little bit there. I'm kind of proud of myself. Yeah, it's no, I kind of liked it too. I feel yeah, no, you, you do occasionally shock me though. You shock me a little bit. Yeah, yeah. All right. Because you're fearless. You, you know, you say things about body parts. Oh, and I'll, stuff. I'll talk about Amanda Bynes having those piercings here, and if she takes out the studs. Tutsi frutsi. Tutsi frutsi. Everyone. Oh. <laughs> You'll never know what she said, America. Just for us. That's yeah, that's moment. just for the folks right here. That was just yeah, yeah, that's it. Here. Hey, you're uh, you're looking uh, booby. Yeah, you're working out a little bit. So I'm far. working out. I'm looking booby. The boobs are real though, so I. I know. I can see you them. You can go ahead if you want to. Oh no, no 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 no. All right, but I mean, you can you can pretty much go right through them. I mean, really? there's, there's no silicone. No, they're very jiggly and very would, real. Would you would you do, do that you again? No, would yeah. you? Uh, yeah. Would you motion. would you get a boob job? Would I would not. That's the one thing I wouldn't. Why not? Do. I I am fearful of like putting the the silicone bags. I'm afraid. I hear they explode. You know, I watch reality shows and there's like somebody jumps off a cliff or they're parachuting or something. Their boob explodes. What 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 was it? Duck Dynasty? No, Is this what I, we're talking about? I swear. I was watching the real world road rules challenge one time. Right. Remember? And that chick's boob exploded Jeez. and I got nervous. So I, that's and that's it? The you... only thing I want to explode is you. <laughs> I mean career wise. Yeah. Career wise. Yeah, spiritually yeah, 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 spiritually yeah, yeah, yeah. and career wise. You did it. I, you said oh it. God. Are you still touring? You still I love it. Are you kidding? I'm going everywhere from Huntsville, Alabama to Carnegie Hall to Vegas to I've never Clearwater, played Huntsville, Al Alabama. Oh, they're they're just going to be ready for me. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Like, let me just be honest. I've had I've had shows where I've had to run to the car. I'm not going to lie. Really? Oh yes, I've done shows. But they know who you are. They know. They what you're know in the beloved red states, and I think um, often the audiences there can be actually more enthusiastic. Yeah. But I do. I have I have more walkouts in a place like Birmingham or Huntsville, Huntsville than let's say you know. Carnegie or Jersey? No, in Carnegie Hall you don't get walk. Well, you get walk because you just can't see them. They're too far away. <laughs> I, or maybe it's the cellist who thought it was Symphony Night. And he do you do you actually have an orchestra when you play at Carnegie Hall? No. What am I, Judy? Good <laughs> <God>. <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Kathy Griffin, who's just told me about her work with the Salvation Army. Yes, I'm the lady with the bell. They don't know what you're talking about. No, you, do you? We were do? talking about touring. Yeah, we were talking about. And touring. I love it. Do you have a bus? No. What do you think? I'm the Judds? What? What kind of world do you think I live in? Yeah, wait, right? you... Orchestra and bus. If you're paying, I'm a play... rented Kia, and I go to the Double Tree, and I say, "May I have a tuna melt after the show?" It's very bare bones. I don't believe you're you. right. I'm a baller. I'm a yeah, baller. yeah. I... I go kind of nice on the road, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, Do you have a, a bus with like a TV in it and a monkey? Do you have a monkey like Bieber? Yeah, I have a monkey. Yeah, yeah. You got it. I mean, if you don't have a monkey, you're not in show business. I have yeah. three monkeys. What yeah. are you talking about? I have I have monkeys. I have a cheetah. I take with me a lot of exotic animals. They don't even know we're kidding. They don't, do you, guys, you guys know that Justin Bieber yeah, yeah. for real traveled with a monkey until they stopped him at the airport? Germany. They took his monkey away in Germany. The, the monkey's like, now the Germans have raised the monkey as their own. <laughs> yeah, so now the monkey talks with a German accent. He's like, oh, Justin and I used to be together, but now he's history to me. <laughs> 
out. Yeah, I've, that's right. Uh, what was it? One day in fashion, you are in, so the next day, you, you are, are out. out. Why did you, you do this gesture? Yo, you know There's what, though? No you know, you know that uh, Heidi... Really, Heidi Klum. Yeah, yeah, she loves doing that. Oh, she loves... That's the thing she loves out. most Lives about Project One Way. One day, you are in, the next, you are out. out. She elongates it. Yeah, you are out. Have we the same? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she, do you know who I like on you? You clearly watched Project Runway, right? Of course. I miss Michael Kors. Yeah. Because Michael Kors was fantastic, the designer. When he when he agreed with someone, he used to do this Michael Kors face. <laughs> I'm going to do it. It's fantastic. He'd go. Yeah. That was his information. That was it. You're like, well, do we have our decision made? Are we ready to tell who is out? And then we go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God! Did you watch Behind the Candelabra? Yes, I did. Oh, oh yes. Behind the Candelabra. The Liberace movie. Yes, yeah. I thought it was amazing and mm -hmm. fantastic. And in the gay community, it was like it was like a drug on the black market. All my gays had it like ahead of time. And like, what girl? You haven't seen it yet? I saw it on Sunday when it premiered. I thought it was fantastic. I have to say, if I was a gay man, I would. I think I would have looked at it and gone, really. Like, but really? there's still a lot, of, it's fascinating, and it's a story of excess and living in a bubble. But I will tell you that my 92-year-old alcoholic mother, Maggie... Mm. Um, oh, reason, I've met her. Yeah. You know, she loves you. Yeah. The reason that she didn't like it, I said, Mom, how could you not like this movie? It's amazing acting. Steven Soderbergh directed it. And my mother said, and I quote, I couldn't relate to him. <laughs> and I said... Well, Mom, I don't think they made a movie about Liberace thinking people would be able to relate to Liberace. <laughs> there was really nothing about... Did you ever him. see Liberace? I could kick myself because I actually was 27 when he died. And I remember at the time, it was like the most uncool thing in the world to go see Liberace. And now I could kick myself. I should have gone to Vegas yeah. to see the show. Scott Bakula's character was good because he, he was awesome. like a... He yeah, was great too. Yeah, he was But I think it was, like, it was a picture of a different time and also a kind of obviously larger than life person. But I'm fascinated by people like that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know anybody in your real life that's, like, larger than life? You! <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, I'm sure, like, you know, like, we both know Rickles and Joan Rivers. Right. To me, they seem very larger than life. No, I've never met Joan. What? Never met Joan. Do you want me to facilitate that? Yeah, yeah, set us up. Let's get a date Absolutely. Going. Yeah. She is lovely, and she would love you. Yeah, no, I'm And what about fan. Rickles? Oh, yeah, I see Come Rickles on. all the time. He's running my house. Do any vodka? Any vodka? <laughs> All the time. I know. I can't not want to ask them about Liberace now. Yeah, me too. Can you imagine the Rat Pack mixing with Liberace? Yeah. What was that like? <laughs> I bet Liberace loved Angie Dickinson. I've met Angie Fabulous. Dickinson. Me too. Mm. We roll in the same posse. What's yeah. going on? We're, we're street. Just like Little <laughs> Twist and Za. We're like Little Twist and Za. You That's who we are. Anytime. Yeah, all right. We got to go. Say goodnight. Good night, everybody. Got to go, everybody. Calm Down Girl is available online. Please welcome my friend, Kathy Griffin, everybody! Look at you with your surprises. What's this all about then? Why well, are you doing this? on New Year's Eve on CNN, I handcuffed myself to Anderson Cooper. Well, I would do that. I was going to say, and yeah. I just thought I should start a trend of just handcuffing myself to attractive men. And don't act like a lot of you wouldn't like to be in this position right now, because... Oh, oh shut up! Sorry, I'll take oh, it right. off. All right, oh, fine. What's this, what, listen, the safety word is banana. Okay. <laughs> Banana it is, so right. there. Can I keep these? Yes, you can have them, Because sometimes, you know, maybe Anderson Cooper will come back on this show one day and... And you can handcuff him wherever you want. Trust me, I've done it. I've done it. Congratulations on your uh, Grammy nomination. And you on your Grammy nomination. Why, thank you! <laughs> but, I have to say... Yes. I think it might be your year. I think oh. it's your year. I think it's your year. You've been nominated how many Six times? Six years in a row. Ah, you're the Susan Lucci. Yeah, you Six gotta get it. Six years in a row. Lost every year. Every year. Wait, 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 wait. I lost. Six years in a row? Yeah. So you're putting out a comedy album every year? 
Yeah, honey, oh, I put out 20 specials. Yes, I have a comedy album every year. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, doesn't that affect the quality of them if they're coming no, no. out that often? As long as the Kardashians are buying Hermes bags that are painted with half-nude ladies, I will do more comedy. Yeah. There's always something, there's always something coming down yeah. the pipeline. Now, well, are you, you going to attend? I can. I've got a gig in Canada. Okay, I should win. I mean, I'm just going to say it. That is ridiculous. You're not even going to attend? Well, I'm sending a Native American representative for you. Is it me with a headdress that I get from Cher? Sure, because yeah, I'm happy Marlon. to do that. No, you remember Marlon Brando did that during the... Uh... Oh, I, of course. It's very controversial. Yeah. I'm just saying if they ever have something called the Attendance Awards, I should totally sweep that one because I will absolutely attend the Grammys. I, you know, I, Six I, years I... in a row of bitterness and tears. Six years in a row. Oh, why, why and they can, you know what? The camera people know not to go on me. You know they have the little boxes? And when they show me not winning, every year I do this. Every year. <laughs> they know. Yeah. Why? Because I'm not loving like you. No, it's no, not. No, you're loving and everyone loves you. I'm not, I'm bit bitter. Wait, you're, you're so angry tonight. What's yeah. wrong? Well, what it is is... Um, do this you need something? Yeah, I do. I do. I you need, need a little spanking. Yes. Yeah. I yes. Come on then. I need a little spanking. Yeah. Okay. Because I actually was telling him right before I came out that this is a very odd dress, and these panels are just. That's just my mesh. skin, right that's there. Just, it's like just wow, mesh. Wow, it's like your body is caged, waiting to come out. That's right. <laughs> I'm like a caged animal tonight. It's, I don't know what's going to happen. Well, you handcuffed yourself to me already. It can only... That's right. <laughs> Spanking, handcuffing. This is like a TLC special. This is like my strange addiction. What else can we do? No yeah. underwear, A. Do you know underwear? No. Really? Bra. I have a bra. I have a bra. Right, well, you got to wear a bra. Yeah, of course, of course I do. I because mean, you've you got, got real breasts. Real right? boobs. Yeah, yeah. And then without the bra, I could like play hacky sack with them or... <laughs> When I lie down, they're like underneath my armpit where they belong. Yeah, they're real. Sorry, America. They're real. I apologize. Well, I, I, I don't think everyone's going to be angry for having real breasts, but it may affect your Grammy chances. What? Yeah. Having real breasts is going to lose me the Grammy the sixth year in a row, it, and you're going to be performing at the Windstar Casino in... Maybe. I, I mean, don't know. I think, I think I'm in Kitchener that night. No. <laughs> yeah. Don't shout no, out Oh, shut up. <laughs> I'm if you were really Canadian, down. you wouldn't have drawn attention to yourself. <laughs> if you were really Canadian, you would be proud of Toronto Mayor Rob Ford because that guy. I think they're. I think oh. Canadians are kind of. They, I think they're kind of. They're okay with it. But they're I kind mean, of he laughing really about it. Really, is the comedy gift that keeps on giving. Mm, I it's mean, pretty good, I have to admit. Yeah. I don't know how much crack you've done today, but I've done a ton, and. <laughs> The thing is, though, it was during one of my um, drinking blackouts, so it doesn't really count. That's, that's kind of his story that he's sticking to. I, when I did cocaine, and I did cocaine, mm -hmm. I, uh, I would only do it when I was drinking. I, couldn't, I wasn't one of these people who could do cocaine and then not drink. That seemed is like that what the kids call a speedball? No, a speedball is heroin and cocaine mixed okay. together. Yeah. So you were like, no speedballs for me, just coke, thanks. Did, did I say I'd never done a speedball? Oh. It was my mesh talking. Sorry, yeah, yeah, that was yeah. my see-through mesh talking. Yeah, that's uh, you. All right, touch you it. Yeah, no, it's interesting. I mean, anything could go wrong. It's, just, it's, just keep watching. But what's interesting because your your skin uh, looks so lovely, but then the mesh gives it a kind of harsh feel. How, what? Well, it's mesh. What are you talking about? Unzip my dress and see how soft I am. All right, but <laughs> but I'll just, I'll just take my hand down. You're very soft, but the mesh, the mesh doesn't, see, you're very soft Well, normally arms. I'm not covered in mesh. This is just for you, because well, I thought you wanted a little peekaboo naughty time. Well, maybe you could do a little bit of covered in mesh, and we could see where that goes. I'll see you on Grammy night. Oh, that's right, you're not going to be there. <laughs> I, I would like to go. I if just... you, by the way, if you were there, and the camera was on you, and you didn't win, would you have, and what's your prepared expression if you don't win? <laughs> You look very dapper. You look very... <laughs> All right, and what's your look if you win? Okay. <laughs> you see, the thing is, I'm not affected by these things. You're not even going to be in the city. No, well, I, I mean, it's not on purpose. I would go. I mean, I was invited and I what would if, like to attend. Excuse I'm just, me, I'm what busy. if the Beebs goes with Selena and you're not there to see the reunion? <laughs> 
Okay? We have to think about these things. If Bieber shows up, no shirt, all kinds of tattoos, thug life, and then Selena Gomez is there with a wig on, freaking out, I mean, you're missing a lot. <laughs> it's all happening at the Grammys. Am I missing anything, really? There, because it's not like it's not going to be covered if I need to see it. Are you in one of those East Coast, West Coast wars? Is there like a Scottish gang turf war happening <laughs> with, between you and Bob Saget? <laughs> Saget also, also nominated uh, for a And well, that's what I'm wondering. Is he, is he you're like your Suge Knight? Were you fearful of attending and there could be some sort of haggis throwing everywhere, kilts flying, wait, no wait, underwear? Wait, 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 what universe is Bob Saget Scottish? It that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I have a fantasy that there's going to be a giant turf war between you and Bob Saget at the Grammys. Everyone's talking about it. Then I better go. I mean, Rihanna won't shut up about it. Lady Gaga, all the nominees. I like Rihanna's eyes. Of course you Ooh, do. You're human. Lovely. If you were to see, if you were to see the beautiful Celine Dion at the Grammys, what would you say to her? Bonjour. Bonjour. Yeah. Bonjour, ça va. Bonjour, ça Bonjour, va. Ça Celine. Va, oui. Why? I That's a made-up word. That's a made-up no, no, word. It's, 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 it's French. <laughs> it's, it's French Canadian for French fries with mayonnaise on them. That's poutine. No, it's That's, okay. You cannot just make up words. I can't. I've been doing it for ten years. Oh, for God's sake! And we have to take a break. All right. I'm here with Grammy nominee. Yeah. And I am Kathy, here with Grammy Kathy. nominee Craig Ferguson, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, uh, look, yeah. let, me just, let me just do a little thing for Go you ahead. right now. Uh, look, uh, Grammy voters, if you're watching tonight, and I, I hope you are, and you're, it means a great deal to The voting to me. ended, by the way, but go ahead. <laughs> yeah, you don't even know the rules. It's not that I don't know, it's that I don't care. Oh, my God, that makes me crazy! Why, Kathy? You see, the whole thing is that you care too much about something that it's nice to be nominated. Wait a minute, are you saying you think people are more important than statues? Because you are wrong, my friend. <laughs> it's all about statues. All right, what is your message to the Grammy voter committee board, whatever? It's Kathy's turn. <laughs> Until... Until the next Grammy nominee is on, and then it'll be their turn. Correct. It's sick. But no, I think I think I think it maybe maybe you could have. I, I, I actually do. You can have my. If I get it, you can have it. Th I would so take it, and I would change that nameplate so fast. <laughs> Overnight. I mean, very few people would question. They'd be like, "Oh, that's nice," and I'd be like, "Oh, I totally won that." And then when I saw you, I'd say, "There was a terrible fire. Yours was lost." <laughs> Why don't you just get one made up then? They're not that expensive. Just get Wait, one made, put what? your name on it, and then they're you can done. do that. Yes, just go to a trophy store and make them. You mean to tell me I've done twenty comedy CDs for nothing? Well, I I'm sure you didn't do them for nothing well, because mesh dresses don't buy themselves. They, exactly, they don't come for free. I did, by the way, get inducted into the Guinness Book of World Records this year uh, for well, having broken the record for more televised stand-up specials than any comedian, male or female, living or dead. Wow, that's your <laughs> thing. I said, no, I would have said, I would have said. If somebody had said to me, you were in the Guinness Book of Records, I would have yeah. said it, that thing with your nipples. I thought that's well, what it that's would be. Well, that's what I'm known for, the way they go both directions. Right, yeah. Exactly. It's called the helicopter. <laughs> There's nothing will stop. He thinks he can get me go, nothing will stop me. No, I, I, I don't think that. I'm just... There's I'm nothing I won't do with you. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> they do too. I can tell by their yeah, faces. Yeah, yeah. No, I, 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 I get, I get that. Go. I get your no I'm what's called a sure thing, Craig. <laughs> What are the rabbit things for? I don't year? even, I thought I was trying to be clean because of CBS, but me, it means I'm done. Hey, um, <laughs> I didn't do the rap, look at my hand. You are a racist, man. You yeah, are a racist. Yeah, man. YOLO, hashtag, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, if you get a chance to go and see her live, you should. It's hilarious. Please welcome the great Kathy Griffin, everybody. Kathy Griffin. Fabulous. 
fabulous. I mean, just great. Craig, let's just get it out in the open. I have not seen you since we competed in the same category, and yet I won the Grammy for Best Comedy Album. This is true, and congratulations. But at the same time, I feel the, it, the vote was rigged in your favor. <laughs> In the sense that uh, your album was perhaps better than mine? No, no, no. But will you admit that you were not even in Los Angeles for the Grammys and no. you were gigging somewhere? Yeah, yeah, I was in, uh, I was in Canada somewhere. That's yeah. where I seem to end up gigging in Canada nearly all the time. They love you there. They, I'm, I am like, uh, they made me their king. I understand, <laughs> as they should. Yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to say that um, while I do now have a Grammy, Grammy for comedy album, That's I it, also... That's great. I am, look, that just... Take it down a notch. Okay. Because I want you to know, unlike you up there being the king of Canada. Yes. With Celine Dion. <laughs> and the other Canadian. We, bonjour. Bonjour, ça va, bonjour. I want you to know that unlike you, I keep it real. And so even though I possess a Grammy, I also am not above a gig I want to brag about that I did recently headlining at a, you know. Where? I said it. I was a headliner. Oh, say it again. A Racino, all right? Is that, I thought that was a sex act. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby, you, know, you, want a, you want a Racino? I was afraid it was actually a racial slur. No, I want you to know that I was actually headlining, and I'm proud of it. Yeah, I'm, not, it's not all Carnegie, baby, okay? I, okay, I just don't know what a Racino is. What is it? It is, it is what you're looking for when you want to, you know, be at a casino that also has a horse track. Oh, it's yes. a racino. It's, a it's combo. racing. And it's racing and a casino. Oh, wow, that's that's the dream of every performer. <laughs> Thank like. you. When? So you're saying it's the most prestigious gig I could possibly ever headline at? Why not? Uh, yeah. yeah, like, yeah let's yeah. go with why not. Yes, no. It, it, All right. I don't. I just. I don't mean to brag or rub it in your face, but I don't know if you've ever performed in the Racino. No, never had the. Racino. Well, I'm not You're, that big. You know, I can't do that. So you haven't graduated to the Racino. Circuit. Not yet. Well, we, the, I didn't know there was a Racino circuit. How many Racinos oh, are huge. there? Everybody's talking about the Racino circuit. And what happens is you perform in front of a curtain to distract the audience because they might be more excited by the actual horse race that was going on behind my show. <laughs> Because I'm a very big... Thank you, my people. Thank you. See? In, in fact, may I do a reenactment? Sure. Okay. Do you want some music? Sure. Music. All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your headliner, Kathy Griffin! <laughs> Bieber, am I right? I mean, that kid's got too many tattoos. Somebody sent him Boo, back. Oh, we want to see the race. Boo! <laughs> When's the race started? That Boo. Lindsay Lohan is a wild card. Boo. She and Miley ought to just. Hey, hey, carrot top. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Oh, baby. Look. That must have been so awful for <laughs> you. These people were terrible. Come and take a seat. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever ridden a horse? Uh, like maybe as a kid. Like well, you've not, ridden like, a baby like, horse? Isn't that cruel? Yeah, I've actually ridden a child horse. No, I mean like maybe like in Michigan or Saugatuck, Michigan, where my mom and dad used to take us on vacation. But I'm not like an equestrian. Like, well, is never... that your thing now? Are you going to start being a like an equestrian expert? Yeah, I think I am. I That's what I'm going to go into. I can you... tell. Yeah, yeah. You're I'm... built for it. I've got a horse. I have one horse. What? Yeah, yes. What? Yeah. Jeff. Yeah, no, it's true, man. He's I've got a right. horse. Just, no, not that horse. That's this is just that's, that's a show business horse. I have a real horse. His name is Duncan. And do you race him? No, no, he'd win. <laughs> Wait, because he wouldn't race against anybody, it would just be Duncan well, he's a horse. running around. He's much faster. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty far. I can build up a head of steam. He's a horse. He's... I'll call the racino. No, I don't want to race a horse. I'd win. It would be. No, 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 no. It would be like me racing against you in the Grammys. I'd lose. I'd lose. Did you have a nice time at the Grammys that I night? Had, I had a ridiculously nice time. I was very inappropriate. I almost tackled Pink Madonna and Katy Perry. I almost took Pharrell's hat off. I really overreacted. I overreacted, I admit it. What did, what, I jumped what? up and down. I had no underpants on. I don't know where my vagina was half the time. <laughs> and who needs to at this does point? Your, does your vagina move around? Unless yeah, my vagina gets around, that's for sure. It moves around. It gets around. I thought that, so it's normally corralled by your uh, I try underpants? to keep my vagina in check, but you know, right now, it's like a an old western town. There's like a country store in there and there's some tumbleweeds and there's some, you know, there, there's a, like a few, there's like a prostitution hall in there. There's a lot going on in my vagina. She's really been through a lot. 
and still, still, okay. Can I, can I just ask you to stop for a second and give sure. a shout out to the church group that are visiting this evening? Hi. They see, those are the type of comments that very much upset my 94-year-old alcoholic mother. Very much upset her. Well, you can't call your mother an alcoholic on... Because she drinks every day? Well, yeah, I suppose you oh, can. Oh, she's yeah. 94. What the hell? Let her have a box of wine. <laughs> we'll be right back with Gabby Gray. Yeah. That. Let's do it because it's probably yeah. my um. Yeah, no, deck. we're back. Oh, we're back for, to the show. Yeah, yeah welcome because back. Because we were talking about something inappropriate. No, 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 it no, wasn't. No, all right. Wasn't, I, okay, you're Mister on the table. You're Mister. Put it all on the table. Yeah, well, no, you were just saying that if you. I said to you, you do a lot of gigs throughout the year, and you said it's kind of your therapy, or I suppose. I right? was saying that if I don't work out every day and just stand up every week or weekend, that I go cuckoo, and it's my version of what I think Prozac is. Well, have you ever had Prozac? No, but why? Am I crazy? <laughs> I mean, oh, crazy's a, a big word. Let's <laughs> let's take a look at it a little bit. You, you feel like you have to perform yes. and you have to work out. No, why, why do you think that is? I think there's something wrong with me. And I... That'll be $100. <laughs> <laughs> I just love doing it. I love going all over the world. I love going everywhere in America, from the big cities to the small towns. Mm -hmm. I love the food. I do the twit pics of some interesting... Have you ever been to the fried pie place in Kentucky? There's a sign as big as well Kentucky and it just says fried pies how can you resist Craig I've never been there but <laughs> I'm going to go because I do you know I do not do I do <laughs> I do enjoy a fried pie well, I will tell it's you It's not something. a sex thing, by the way. I actually enjoy it. Everything a is a sex thing, and yes, yeah. you can call it my fried pie. <laughs> Obviously, that's what I was leading up to. So, I've been calling it my fried pie for years. It's about time you got on board. So, you go on tour quite a lot then, do you? And I call my vagina fried pie. No, don't pie. stop! Water, 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 no, I don't want to hear Multi flavors. There's vanilla, no, there's stop. blueberry, there's cherry, stop it. there's frosting. It's like a pop tart. Stop. Stop talking about your vagina. Good luck. It's my whole career. Good uh, luck. This is exactly what it's like when Regis is here. Now stop. <laughs> So, um, well, that's quite interesting now, to me. I, but it's not a pathology. If you enjoy it and you like doing it, it's, it I, if you feel like um, you're doing it and you don't want to do it, then no, I, I think, love it. I well, love it more I think than it's anything. It's fine. Good. All but right. is it a fear of intimacy? You go from town to town, you don't have to actually make any real meaningful contact with anyone because it's just an audience and yeah. some people, and then you're on to the next thing and you never actually get to, you know, make any meaningful relationships. It's all superficial. Yes. Now, there's something that is different about male comedians and female comedians. I want to know, just be honest, do you have a spotter? You know what I'm just, you know, I don't know what I that know, is. I don't even need to look at your face because I know the game you're playing. Do you have a spotter? I don't know let what me, a spotter okay, is. Let me, let me just bring them inside our world. A lot of female comedians, they do the road and they do shows, large or small, and they have a dude who's the spotter. And he picks out like a hot chick in the audience and then the comedian has sex with her later. And I... Is that allowed? <laughs> Where have you been, Grandma? Everybody has a spotter. I don't have a spotter. Where's your spotter? I don't have a spotter. Jeff! Jeff is with me! Yeah. <laughs> Jeff is happy to be your spotter. He goes show to show, and he picks out the hot chick, and then he... Well, it would be a little difficult for Jeff, but he sort of gestures, can you come... Wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me that attractive women go to see comedians with the sole purpose of having sex with them? Yes. I wish I'd gotten into this sooner. <laughs> I blame your spotter. Jeff, you're asleep at the wheel and dead. Hey, I'm into dudes, man. Don't look at me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so do you, do you have a spotter? No, that's what I think is so funny is when you're a female comic, I really think, as crazy as it sounds, you actually have the intention of just doing a show and then, in my case, maybe going back to the hotel and, you know, having, like, a grilled cheese. But there are... That's what I do. But, no way! Yes way! Where have you been? Every dude comic I know has a spotter and then he bangs the cocktail waitress after the show. <laughs> I'm married! Oh! Well, then you gotta make sure your spotter's good. <laughs> That's 
a closer, my friend. That was a oh, wrap that, that up nicely. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I'm yeah. just saying in general. But yeah. no, I have no spotter. Yeah, I don't have a spotter either. I would never do I that. love that you didn't even know spotters were out there. No. Yes. First of all, rappers have spotters. I think comics like stole it from rappers. Really? Yes, it's an old like rock and roll thing. Like I'm sure when Jagger comes over later, if he wasn't at the barbecue, if Jagger comes over later, he's probably gonna <laughs> brag about his spotter. I don't know. Uh, do you think? I, I wonder if he would take oh, your spotter. Oh, I have that. <laughs> Here, here, uh, let's just see. Let's find out uh, about his spotter. What's hello, who's this? Yeah, well, uh, 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 I'm Matt. Ah, uh, Mick, I was wondering if you are going to call. Kathy's here. Yeah. Do you have a spotter? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, 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 it's a very bad line. Got a bad um, we so didn't find out his spotter. Here, you talk to him then. Hey, Mick, it's Kathy. I was just wondering, when you're on the road, who's your spotter? Well, it's uh, Keith. Keith is your spotter. Who's right. Keith's spotter? Yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, can I recommend Jeff? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, you're welcome. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm, I, I feel like I've learned something gig. about show business. We've gone on far too long, Kathy. You I know. Florian, let us play music. I cannot. I'm no longer interested in music. What? Whatever will you do instead? I have a new hobby. Scrapbooking. <laughs> you do realize that in order to scrapbook, you must go out and do things and enjoy yourself. <laughs> let us play music. Excuse me. <laughs> the joke was. Yeah, yeah.